<sighs> Damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! It's your boy Sha, Sha vs. A Bite Podcast, episode one, goddamn 22. Got a special guest in the building, man. We got motherfucking rapper, we got actor, and my man's on time. <laughs> got my nigga, man, Meech Icewood, man. What up, though? What's the deal, man? Appreciate y'all having me. No, I appreciate you coming through, bro. Like like I said, dog, when you came, I'm like, damn, this nigga five minutes early. <laughs> like, niggas be disrespecting your time, bro. Oh, niggas yeah. do not give a fuck about time. Hey, come in this bitch, nigga, 30 minutes late, hour late, even though you didn't talk to them niggas the whole week and shit. Oh yeah, no, we good on um, punctuality. Like that's a big important thing, to us, especially in business. You got to be on time. If you on time, you late to me. So you got to be sure. early. Hell yeah, hell yeah, man. I appreciate that shit, man. But shit, man, what's been good with you, dog? How, 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 how your uh, how your year been, dog? Man, my year been good, man. Um, yeah. Man, I've been in so many goddamn movies that's coming out. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, my Street Code Broken movie came out February. Just dropped on Amazon Prime a couple weeks ago. Hey, we definitely gonna touch on that. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, recording more music and stuff like that, man. Staying out the way. I've been having a good year, though. Yeah. What's well, some shit, though, like, from last year? You know how niggas be, though. Like, nigga, I'm going to eat good, nigga. I'm going to eat grass in 2022. Like, you know how niggas be like, <laughs> I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna, I ain't going to fuck up and shit. Like, what's some shit that you like, nigga, from last year? You like, nigga, you ain't going to bring it to this year, or if it's anything. Uh, Just, um... You no, know, staying away from more bullshit, like letting motherfuckers fuck up what I got going on and shit like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because... If you looking out so much or whatever, you'll fuck up your shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Trying yeah, to help yeah. out another motherfucker. For sure, nigga, yeah. that's a fact. So you know Hell what I'm saying? Yeah. Just you know yeah. what I'm saying? make sure my shit, shit straight. That's why I had to learn. You you can't even give a fuck. You can't even give a fuck about niggas sometimes when you on the motherfucker path to try and get your shelf together. Dog. Facts. You got man, man, fuck that shit. I gotta focus on me. Unless you got you know what I'm saying kids and shit. But besides that, like nigga, whole ass niggas. You got man, whatever, dog. Fuck y'all niggas, dog. Facts, man. Nigga ain't trying to help himself, man. You can't help somebody that can't help themselves or ain't trying to help themselves either. So you feel me? Like, sure. gotta go. You know what I'm saying? Move but then sometimes, the though, nigga, like, um, sometimes we, I be thinking, I was talking to my wife about this shit, bro. Like, we, sometimes we expect too much from niggas, too, though. Yeah. Like, sometimes niggas be expecting that motherfucking that help or that love or that support when niggas, fuck it, nigga, just go by it how you gonna go by it. Like, niggas ain't gonna show you that love that you will show them. That's true. That's you true, too. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, shout out to my nigga Lance, man. He's a, his brother passed away and she made like a post talking about how niggas was it, most niggas that he knew was saying more rest in peace to my man who passed away Hutch and rest in peace to, to that man but he's like niggas ain't even hit me up about my brother and nigga you my homie though yeah. you know what I'm saying but sometimes niggas like to be popular though like to say something about you know what I'm saying something that niggas know about like everybody yeah. know about him and shit so yeah clout and shit that's, man. that's how it is dog yeah. but before we get to everything dog I forgot dog we usually do everything with Salumi while I'm here Speaking of death, a lot of times we don't show niggas love until they die. Mm. Made that long ass Facebook post like, nigga, I love Keisha or Craig and shit like that. But you got anybody you want to go ahead and give some flowers to that's still here that's not your immediate circle. So no mom, no pops, no lady, no kids. You know what I'm saying? Somebody you want to show some love to that wouldn't expect the flowers? Uh, Honestly, just everybody that's doing their thing right now, man. Yeah. Like, man, I appreciate everybody that's doing their thing, man, and that's moving the uh, culture along, you feel me, with For the sure. film and music and everything, you feel me? For sure. You know what I'm saying? I can't name everybody, but, you know what I'm saying, I just give flowers to everybody that's doing their thing because there's a lot of people behind the scenes that I met that's like, Really pushing the culture forward, and people don't even know their names. You feel me? Yeah, hell yeah, no facts. So, you hell know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's everybody, you know what I'm saying? That's pushing the culture forward, man. That's that's giving niggas like me opportunities. You know yeah. what I'm saying? To shine and shit. Yeah. Now, now, nigga, would you? What would you rather be, bro? A behind the scenes ass nigga who getting paid, or just nigga in, in front? Like nigga, they know who fucking. Uh, they know who the fuck I am, dog. Like, or you want to be like nigga behind the scenes? Niggas don't really know what the fuck going on. See, the thing is, like. I would rather be behind the scenes getting money and stuff like that because, yeah. like, I don't really too much care about fame and stuff like that unless it's on translating to dollars because who the fuck want to be famous and broke and not making no money? Like, that shit's stupid to me. So, like, no, for sure. yeah, man. So, I, like, I'd rather be behind the scenes. Dude. I'm more chill, laid-back nigga anyway. Yeah. So but it's a lot of niggas who... A lot of niggas love that IG love niggas who got a couple of dollars in their pocket ain't got shit going on, but they, they, they famous on motherfucking IG. Yeah. But niggas broke as hell struggling at the grocery store. Yeah. 
Yeah, and speaking of that, nigga, I saw your grocery store shit, though. Like, you were struggling that bitch a little bit. Oh, yeah, I always struggle with <laughs> no, that grocery store, man. <laughs> no, give me, give me, like, nigga, nigga, women are fucking vital when it comes to grocery store shopping. Yeah, they, they are, man. We got a lot of bullshit, a lot of hot pockets. Yeah. The journals, Raymond right noodles, nigga. I'm telling like, you, man. What's some do's and don'ts in the grocery store, bro, that some you learning, nigga? Like, <laughs> some do's and don'ts, man. Uh, Nigga, watch, watch, um, <laughs> just watch all your items, bro. That shit stack up, bro. I'm talking about like you grab some bullshit and that shit come up to a hundred dollars. You got the fuck? For sure. Like yeah, For sure. so <laughs> man. No, that's a fact, nigga. I spent some hundred dollars the other day. Like, dog, what the fuck I get? I'm swear to God, man, that shit be taxing like a motherfucker. I'm like, dog, what the fuck? <laughs> dog, when you got that bridge card, then you throwing shit in that bitch with confidence. Yeah, bro, you don't give a fuck. You got the bridge card. When you spend the cash, you be like, God damn, hold on. <laughs> Hundred dollars, shit. <laughs> nigga throwing in steaks, nigga shrimp, nigga <laughs> lobster tails in that bitch, dog. You uh, can, you ain't got that bridge card, you in that bitch, nigga. You calculate, you got to calculate it up, nigga. I swear to God, see this nigga man. bread two fifty. <sighs> My father, man, nigga, I was mad as fuck. The eggs was three three sixty nine, nigga. <sighs> I'm like, bro, what the fuck? How the eggs get expensive, dog? Yeah, they tax on everything now. So now you know shit that's going on. Now I ain't got to go through this shit. I'm a bald head ass nigga, but the barber's going up on prices. Just everybody going up on prices, bro. Like. Man, you hey, gotta make sure you're making a couple of dollars out here now, nah, nigga. Yeah, facts. Especially if you want to pay for gas, nigga. No. That shit stay going up, that nigga. That shit stay going up, man. No, 50 dollars when you fill my tank up no more, man. I'm mad as hell. Hey, nigga, I, <laughs> I put seven on the tank, that motherfucking cashier look at me like I was crazy. Shit, <laughs> nigga. It's like five a gallon now, so shit. They like, nigga, where the hell you going? <laughs> man. I'm like, let me get, you gotta say that shit, nigga, with no confidence. Let me, let me get 702. Say that shit real low there, huh? Like, <laughs> no, nigga, no, yeah, that's that. That shit dead, nigga. As long as you can put your shit now, it's twenty. That shit barely making it. Hey, I swear to God, man, that shit, that shit wild out here, now, nah, man. So I'm getting to arguments with my wife about gas. Like, you want me to fill your shit, man, mine's? Like, <laughs> you better get a fucking extra job, nigga. You better come out some cheese, then, nigga. Yeah, we get <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> For sure, that that'll cause a breakup in this bitch, though. Like, she mad as hell. You ain't coming to see her no more. Like, hey, man, you know where you know where I work at. Man, I don't want to go see females because of that. And I'll be like, you on the West? Nah, I'm good, man. That shit, nah. It was too much gas money. <laughs> no, for sure. That's why I think, I know you probably, damn, this nigga bugging me, bro. I'm like, I got to know. Cause I'm coming from the West over here to do a podcast, so I'll be wanting to make a show. Nigga, yeah, be yeah. this bitch hurt, nigga, and spend that motherfucking cheese to come in here and nobody show up. Like, damn. Man, I swear to God, man. Nigga gave me a Michael Jackson spin move in this bitch, dog. <laughs> <laughs> dog, hell yeah. Now, nah, shit, talk about you, bro. Talk about, uh, talk about growing up, man. Like, where you from? What part of town? Who was in the crib? All that good shit, man. Man, I'm from the um, Trey East Side, East Jefferson. Yeah, oh, for sure. Okay. Yeah, Where yeah. shit? I was a. Uh, I, I remember I stayed in Wilson for for a hot second, dog. Newport. I stayed on Newport, too. No, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> was you back there by the water? Yep. Oh, nigga. How old is you, bro? Shit, uh, shit, I'm old as fuck, 35. Oh, shit, damn, yeah. You probably knew my older cousins and shit then. Yeah, I'm like, only 29, so yeah, I was a young nigga. Yeah, shit, whoop, whatever. Yeah, you yeah. went to um, Remus and um, Southeastern? No, no, no. I went to Southeastern. Oh, you went to Southeastern? Yeah, okay. you went to Southeastern? No, I ain't went to go to see. Yeah, yeah, because the Remus was the school right right there uh, on, um, right there on, what's that street called, dog? Uh, damn, damn. That yeah, was right, right next to the apartments and yeah, shit. Yeah, no, it was um, right across the street from that park. Yeah, the yep. apartments, the uh, village, uh, India Village, yeah. I think. Yeah, over there. Village yeah. Park or some shit like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah, talk about nigga shit how it was over there, dog. Cause that you get bad reception on that bitch too if you ain't got no good air in that. No, yeah, no, definitely, most definitely, <laughs> most definitely. Like your shit will fall the fuck off, man. <laughs> yeah. For sure. But um, shit, you no, know, it was smooth over there. I feel like that's where I really came into my own and shit like that, and really like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like start becoming more of a man and shit like that. I don't know. I was a kid or whatever, so I really like was more focused on school and shit. But like. Mm. A time around, I was around a bunch of niggas that was doing bad shit, so I was hanging around them and shit like that. So it kind of got me into that, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, damn, I know you know some niggas. I know they over there, niggas. This nigga named Ears. Nigga named Ears. Yeah, his little brother and shit. Damn, what was that dark skin nigga name, dog? Forgot that nigga, but it was the one nigga had motherfucker blew his arm off and shit with the fireworks and shit. Mm. <laughs> that nigga shit. That nigga was a motherfucking crazy nigga, dog. But that nigga fuck around, nigga had. One of them motherfucking explosive ass fireworks and blew his fucking hand off or some shit or fingers or some shit. God damn, that's crazy. <laughs> <Right. laughs> <laughs> I I had to ask my big brother about that because I'm pretty sure you probably know they was from Cross Jeff too. They, 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 shit, they say um, well ears and them them, them them niggas say on Newport, and then they um stay on Newport because I was on Newport where a bus come at. Damn, where the bus come at? What's it Essex or? Whatever that shit was, dog. I'm where I'm, I was on the, on the, on the end of the street where the motherfucking bus be coming at Connors bus. 
I was right by the motherfucking park, though. Right by uh, when niggas be hooping at a half court joint. Oh, uh, you talking about um Piper Park? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. Right there, they all right there. I'm on the red, nigga. I thought I was balling and shit, though. We got a crib, shit. Never had a crib. All had apartments <laughs> and shit. That, yeah, that play that um run was double played like a motherfucker growing up. Hell yeah. Right. No, that shit funny as hell. Now, who's in the crib? You got siblings? Mom and dad was in the uh, crib? Uh no, I grew up um over there with my aunt and shit like that. I grew up in a uh, foster system and she adopted me and shit like okay, that. So okay. you know, my um you know, my brother was there and shit yeah, like yeah. that, but a bunch of cousins and you know sure. all that type of shit. For sure, man. Shit, how how was like you, you mind speaking on that? Uh the adoption. Yeah. I mean uh, um foster care. Uh yeah, um, I mean, if you don't, nigga, that shit, that's cool. I understand, nigga. Trust me. I know it's cool. Um, yeah. yeah, I was in. Uh, I got put in the foster care system when maybe I was like seven, uh, eight at the most, some shit like that. Probably okay. like seven or whatever, yeah. shit like that. So, bounced around from different homes or whatever and shit. Uh, you know, uh, my mom had asked my aunt, "Can she, uh, you know, get me and my brother out the foster system?" I ain't never met my aunt before, like before yeah. this, so I ain't know who the hell she was and shit sure, like yeah, this. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So she, you know what I'm saying, welcomed me in with open arms and shit like that, man. Yeah, and, uh, for sure. Yeah. Now, growing up, did you ever have, like, resentment to your, 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 your parents and shit because of that? Or, like, you just understood? Oh, uh, yeah, I did. I had uh, resentment and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, But, you know, as I got older and shit, I realized, like, you know, they wasn't capable of taking care of for kids, sure, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, no, like, facts. you feel me? So, at least, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I got, I got somebody that was capable of doing that. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, look out for me. She, yeah, though. But yeah. it did. I did have a lot of resentment towards my mom because of that. Though, but I had to let that shit go. Yeah. You feel me? Because you know, what I'm saying y'all relationship straight now, though. though. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It ain't like uh like that close like mother and son type relationship and shit like yeah. that. But it's it, it's still strong though. You feel for me? Sure, for yeah. sure, I feel, I feel hell yeah. Hey man, I always say this shit. Niggas who was in like the foster care be strong as fuck. The niggas always fight though, like because they be mad though. Yeah, yeah, no, that, no, that shit <laughs> no, be definitely no. angry. <laughs> No, but so like all jokes aside, nigga, I know a couple of niggas they'll beat your ass over little shit, dog, cause they going through some shit at the crib and they mad as fuck. No, yeah, no, I was definitely angry as fuck growing up. <laughs> like, nigga, I, like, yeah, nigga. Niggas be extra strong, nigga. Like, I'm telling you, that shit I had you ready to fuck somebody up, like. Dog, what's a, what's a, what's the fight you remember, dog, growing up, dog? Like that you just remember, nigga, like night, like it was yesterday. Like I said on his show, nigga, I only got to like one scrap for real. It was with Lionel Sanders, dog. I said one too many mama jokes and nigga, it was on popping. That nigga wanted to fight in the bathroom, but I'm like, nigga, it's too much shit around here. We gotta go in the classroom. Nigga, oh, that's cool. <laughs> bust your head on the motherfucking sink, nigga. Like, man, you shit. Uh, far as scraps. Shit. Would you would, would you admit like nigga? Like we say this shit, bro. I say well, my kids. I got sons, fourteen, well, fifteen, and I'm like, he never got to a scrap. You think it's important, nigga, to get to a scrap when you young, and opposed to wait until you get old and gotta go ahead and throw them hands. You don't know how them bitches work. I mean, shit. Long, I feel like long as you know how to defend yourself or whatever, and you got the heart to defend yourself. It don't sure. really matter and shit like that. Because as you get, mostly as you get older and shit like that, you don't really get into it like yeah. that with motherfuckers. Unless you run, unless you bump into an ignorant motherfucker yeah, and shit yeah, like that. Sure. You feel Fact. me? Yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. older niggas really don't fight as much. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? But uh, when you younger and shit like that, you definitely can't let nobody uh bully you or play with you a certain type of way and shit mm -hmm. like that. So you got to defend yourself or whatever and Hell shit. Yeah. But I yeah. mean, maybe you just ain't bumping to that though. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean that's a good thing. He a cool nigga, laid yeah. back, chill and shit. But like. But back then, compared to now, nigga, it's a lot harder. Like, when you fight, nigga, niggas at school know if you won or lost. Now, nah, nigga, you get to a fight, nigga, everybody gonna know because they gonna post that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you fighting for your life for real, nigga. Like, <laughs> that bitch on IG, nigga, where, nigga, YouTube, nigga, that shit everywhere, dog. So, you, you, you fighting for the nigga, you gotta win, nigga. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. Or, nigga, I, me, me personally, I just respect the fact that you fought. Like, you don't get that, bitched nah, out and shit like that because that's worse than getting your ass. Well, I take an ass with but <laughs> me getting bitched out, I can't come back from that. Hell yeah. Yeah, I can't live with myself with that type of shit. Hell nah, yeah. I'd rather get beat up. <laughs> Hell yeah. Nigga, I, I was, uh, nigga, I remember bullies in my school, nigga. They give you this little sound right here, nigga, and they point at you, oh, damn. I gotta <laughs> fight this nigga at 315, dog. Fuck. This nigga big as hell, like. I don't even want to do that shit, bro. But no, no, for sure. You respect the nigga for, for attempting to scrap than just yeah, a nigga course. who run that shit, dog. Yeah, of course. You ever ran from a fight, nigga? Hell nah. For real? Never ran from a fight, bro. Man. I'd rather get beat up. Yeah. I don't lost fights and shit like that, but nah, for as far as running, nah. I ain't technically run, but... <laughs> <laughs> I saw my so-called nigga get beat up and shit. I'm like, nigga, I'm going this way, dog. Fuck that. That nigga's I'm going this way. No. It's too many of them niggas, dog. Oh, shit, man. What, what, what high school you went to, man? Like, was you one of them niggas, like, hoop dreams, football dreams? Like, or was it always about music growing up? Like, what, Nah, what? I definitely had uh, hoop dreams and shit like that, but... 
after I saw like that shit, I wasn't going to college for that shit. I really gave that shit up and really started fucking with the streets and shit for yeah. real, for real. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, you said fuck that shit. Was you gonna get a certain height? Cause I'm like, nigga, I thought I was gonna be six one. Nigga, hell yeah, nigga. I told my big brother I was gonna be like six eight when I was younger. And <laughs> no. I was like, no, you're not, bro. I'm like, man. Hell yeah, that's bullshit, nigga. My jeans fucked up. Hell yeah. I just knew I was gonna be six one. I went from five four to five eight, nigga. I've been stuck at this bitch since, nigga. Hey man. Nigga, short as fuck, dog. Fuck my whole dreams. Yeah, it'd be like that, man. I'm like, yeah, fuck all that shit, man. I just, and, and I just got more focus on just being in the fuck street trying to get some money and shit like that yeah. too. So like, I was like, yeah. fuck all that other shit or whatever, man. Yeah, yeah not shit. Now you say you like focus on the streets and shit. Like mm -hmm. looking back, like nigga, you you older dude now and mm -hmm. shit like that. Would you be like, dog, like tell your younger self, like nigga, change that shit up, do something else, or like you had to go through that to be. Who you are now Cause sometimes you need that, that That shit that you go through At a young age To be the man that you is Once you get older Yeah that's facts I, You know I feel that But at the same time I probably would tell myself Like bro Stay in school man Like yeah. go do something Productive and shit like that Man you feel me Like yeah. Cause certain experiences That you You can't get You feel me Like I missed out On a lot of experiences Like mm -hmm. even though Like I never cared To go to prom Or nothing like that I yeah. should've did that shit Cause that's a once in a lifetime Experience You know what I'm saying I ain't never gonna Experience that yeah. Or even going to college with my friends from high school and shit like that and you know what I'm saying getting a career and shit like that you feel yeah. me I'm not gonna experience those type of you know what I'm saying so yeah. I'll probably tell myself like man just go to school bro like for yeah. real for real for sure and these niggas uh, fucking uh, uh, little prom pictures nigga that shit cost more than a wedding and shit these niggas <laughs> out here going crazy I saw one, one little chick had a goat in that bitch like <laughs> hey, oh yeah they fooling for they prom shit man <laughs> they fooling now man they fooling for they shit man Duh. Man. Like, nigga, like she a go for real <laughs> But no Niggas doing a little too much For these little prom shit dog. Now yeah. I got pressure on myself My son a freshman I'm already like damn I might come with my motherfucking pocket with some cheese for Hey you want had to man He got yeah. a stunt man you got, Yeah nigga That shit crazy bro dog. Like so you ain't go, like, you ain't. So I, I assume you ain't finished high school and shit uh, nobody had to get my GED And the only reason why I grabbed that bro Because I was fighting the case And it just looked good For the yeah. judge and shit So yeah no. <laughs> That's the only reason man Ain't hey, shit wrong with that though bro Yeah yeah no yeah. See, you, At least you got some Yeah nigga. facts Yeah Some niggas ain't got shit Nigga out here came for I been catching up for McDonald's Now you need that motherfucking shit Oh yeah no A lot of niggas Yeah that niggas yeah. Learning how to comprehend and shit like that, man. For real, for real. Bro, but, <laughs> yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure. Now you say you, you know, fighting the case and stuff like that, man. Like mm -hmm. I don't want, you know, I ain't Vlad and this bitch. Like niggas trying to cremate niggas, but like, can you speak on that? Like, did you have to do some time or like, did you? Are you? Just oh like, yeah, that shit over with. Nah, yeah, okay. I can speak on this shit. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. did you do? You do a little time or you just like you just? Uh, yeah, yeah. I um, I was stuck in that bitch for a minute. They weren't trying to let me out. Then yeah. I got a. Uh, Got a uh, you know personal bond and shit like that. For I got sure, released through sure. my. Uh, this was in Pittsburgh too. This one even here. Oh shit, yeah, yeah, that's I got, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, me and my cousins had uh, hit a lake on a Sprint store or whatever and shit like that. Uh, yeah. We ended up getting caught up with an informant. Yeah. So shit, I was facing like five years. These niggas was facing like eight. Yeah. Shit, had to go through the court system and shit like that. I got probation or whatever because my record wasn't really dirty like that. For sure. Um, crazy. Like two years after that, I got. Caught up up here and shit like that. They extradited me back down there because of that case. Yeah. And I had to spend some more months down there in jail and shit. Then they released me through a halfway house yeah. till I saw a judge and he let me come back up here and shit like that. But, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm just paying restitution and all that shit now, though. But, yeah, that shit over with. But that's some whole shit, though. Like, you got to pay for being in jail, nigga. Like, like yeah. <laughs> I don't understand that shit. But, dog, talk about... Because I, I had, you know, family members and stuff. I, like, nigga, I, I was too scared to even get in trouble and shit. Nigga. nigga, I thought about trouble and I got scared. Then, like, fuck this. But, like, nigga, like, that first night that when you and that bitch and they closed that motherfucker cell, like, how, how is that? Like, you know, thinking, like, what you thinking about? Like, you like, damn, like, I shouldn't have did this shit. Like, how is that first night when they closed that bitch and you, you even slept through that shit and woke up the next morning? Like, damn, I'm really in this bitch. Like, damn, what the fuck? Like, you feel me? Mm -hmm. It's worse than when you go back to that bitch. Like, damn, I'm back in this bitch, dog. I don't even live here. Like, I was mad as hell, dog. Like, y'all bitch gonna really come away all the way up here and get me, dog? Like, no, I go back to Pittsburgh. Yeah, I had to damn. go back to Pittsburgh, man. Yeah. Yeah, but it worked out in my favor, though, at the end of the day. Because, shit, because I was gonna let them know. Like, if I, they wouldn't let me go home, but I was about to go on the run. <laughs> For real, got me fucked up. <laughs> I don't live here, so I'm not staying here. <laughs> Yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Cause I always be wondering how niggas be like, nigga, that, that first night in that bitch. That gotta be a motherfucker, dog. Cause you do this shit not thinking that you gonna get caught up and shit, dog. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, of course. And you in that bitch, and you like, damn, I'm in this motherfucker, like, this whole ass little cell and shit, dog. Yeah. I, um, I always was fortunate enough that every time I went to jail, I always had cool cellies and shit like that. So I ain't never really, like, getting into it with nobody in or, or no shit like that. Yeah. But, uh, with that situation and shit like that, um, 
that first night the short just being in that bitch or whatever i had my two cousins with me and shit yeah. and, you know one of them younger and shit mm-hmm. the other one you know he ain't really really experienced no shit like that so i feel like i had to you know what i'm saying yeah. could be scary because i wanted to you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah. like, watch out for them and shit for sure. too. hell yeah hell yeah hell yeah man hey man shout out to the niggas man who doing a little something man yeah you gonna get through it dog facts <laughs> yeah, you facts you no, get for through sure. it. hey man just man up nigga defend yourself yeah that's <laughs> it man and no, just sure. and you know the thing is jail bro like because with me bro like I wasn't in that bitch with my chest poked out, but I wasn't in that bitch with my head held down neither. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, you got to, sure. you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, nigga. Hey, man, I always think my, <laughs> that motherfucker movie, you said that movie, uh, Lockdown, nigga? Uh, with, uh, nigga. Master P, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that shit. That nigga, that bitch too nice, said white nigga. Like, damn, this, this book is amazing, bro. Nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga yeah. Stacy got his ass ran, nigga. Yeah, man. That shit wild. <laughs> that read, like, nigga, you amazing, bro. You could draw like this? That nigga said, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> dog, that nigga was, it wasn't the same after they came and talked to that nigga, dog. But see, that's why niggas get scared because of movies. But that movie shit don't portray how shit really is in motherfucking prison. Like, you got some situations like that, but nigga, that ain't no everyday all the time everywhere you go type shit no nah, I feel like that 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 happens to you if you want it to happen to you most of the time and shit like that you feel me like <laughs> if you if you want that type of shit then whatever whatever but nah it ain't like no shit like that yeah for sure hell yeah dog now you of course you went to music and shit like that mm-hmm. dog tell me like a lot of times we get our musical influences from the motherfuckers around us our right. OGs or right. whoever in the crib so who are some people that you was liking based off of what other motherfuckers was listening to cause you was too young to have your own ear for that motherfucking music Let's see. Um, first and foremost, uh, my big brother used to rap when I was younger. Okay. And my older cousin, they used to try to teach me how to rap or whatever. Yeah. So I guess they was like some of my earliest influence. Uh, as I got older, you know, Blade, of course. For sure, hell yeah. And, uh, you know, of course, Doughboy's Cash Out, you know, yeah. Payroll and shit. But uh, my biggest inspiration as far as music overall was, had to be Lil Wayne. Oh yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, nigga. Like, like especially like in our little age group and shit like that. Dog, he was that nigga. Hey, yeah, man. That nigga was man. Like, that like, nigga was that nigga. Like man. I knew about Pop, of course, Biggie. Like those was niggas I knew about just because you supposed to know about them niggas. But once I started listening to shit, like Wayne was going crazy on the motherfucking mistapes, <laughs> nigga. Man. Nigga, uh, the droughts, the motherfucking. Uh, uh, the Carters, all that shit, yeah, dog. Like man. that nigga was, that nigga was going crazy, dog. Yeah, man. Wayne was, man. That nigga Wayne was something special. Like you had to be there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> telling you. Yeah. Now tell me this, dog. We argue about shit, this what shit up? a lot, dog. What's what's better, Card One or Card Two? Oh, I ain't gonna hold y'all. <laughs> Carter Two. Oh, God. So Carter Two. Now, now I tell you this, Card One had better production. Card Two. Had better raps, and they was spitting better on Carter Two. To me, I I, I I get that Carter One, Carter One cold too though. But yeah. I just I feel like yeah, Carter Two that was like yeah. Duh, hey, nigga, sleep on Carter Two. Duh. Carter Two, I feel like Carter Two the best one, honestly. Duh, nigga, sleep on Carter Two. Duh. Yeah, nigga, sleep and Carter Three made the most money just because it was the it it crossed over. So motherfucker, it wasn't just us buying that shit. White motherfuckers, women, everybody was buying that shit because he became like a crossover rapper and shit like with Lottie Pop. Like that that song right there birthed a lot of niggas. That oh, light pop song, yeah, you got did. future thug. Like I believe that 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 sound birthed a lot of niggas from the south and shit, dog. Like they careers and shit, bro. Like, cause they, but yeah, car two was a classic, bro. Like yeah, nigga, that shit was a classic, man. Hell yeah, nigga sleep on that shit, dog. Nigga sleep on that shit. Now, dog, uh, talk about um your first favorite rapper. Like, was Wayne your first favorite rapper? My first favorite rapper, uh. You know what? I would have to I, I would have to give it to them because when I was younger, the only niggas that I really listened to rap, of course I heard Pac and Biggie and shit like that, but that I really like resonated with and listened to was fucking Cash Money. Yeah. And and since I was younger, I always heard a lot of Will Smith. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, niggas sleep on motherfucking the Fresh Prince, dog. Yeah. Like yeah. nigga, as a little nigga, ain't nothing wrong with that, dog. Niggas be looking at you crazy. When you a little nigga, you like little nigga rap. And yeah. uh, Fresh Prince was a little nigga rap nigga like yeah. he was I, doing Man in Black had that song out and all other uh, Wild Wild West had the, songs out that and shit. That one song was that uh, a Miami nigga that they, they said the budget on that bitch was so much dog. But no, uh, Will Smith was definitely a nigga dog smacking niggas. But uh, <laughs> I, I, MC Hammer was my nigga though. MC I'm, Hammer, I'm a little nigga. <laughs> So like MC Hammer was my nigga though. Criss Cross like young nigga rap was with my mm-hmm. nigga though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I wasn't into the shit that I was, you know saying that older niggas was into. Once I got older, I, I went back and started listening to that shit. You yeah, yeah, me? I feel that. But yeah, up until then I was listening to bullshit, nigga. You know, like I say you know Criss Cross, MC Hammer, Fresh Prince, and then that's when motherfucking Lil Wayne, 
juvenile all yeah, these came yeah. into the picture. I'm like, damn, yo, this is what that, that real rap is about. So yeah. that's why I started going back. No Limit, Master P, mm -hmm. all that good shit, dog. Hell yeah. Give me a CD or a song, nigga, that take you back to a time. Every time you hear it, you might think about motherfucking Felicia. Nigga, some shit you ain't did. Like, <laughs> this an album or a song. You hear that shit, you like, damn, I remember that shit, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Man, uh, song or album. Um... Cause niggas always got that one shit like damn I'm around her Usher and shit I was singing to my girl <laughs> <laughs> I remember Usher as a kid too Usher's that nigga <laughs> hell yeah hell yeah. yeah man but you got some shit that remind you of a time nigga it could be your time nigga locked up nigga in school nigga whatever nah low key I like um, I don't know if y'all fuck with Wiz y'all fuck with Wiz oh, hell yeah I fuck with Wiz, Wiz. Yeah. so Wiz when Wiz dropped that um Damn, Rolling Papers, I yeah, believe yeah, it was. First, that was the first that, official album. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That, that takes me back and shit like that to a certain time where I was just, like, I was younger. I was kind of fucked up and shit like that, but I had all my niggas with me and shit like that. We was all together and shit, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But so, you know so We made the best of it and shit, you feel me? So, I feel like I don't get times like that no more, though. But every time I listen to that shit, it always take me back to that feeling, you feel me? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Were you smoking too, man? Hell yeah, y'all smoking, drinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, uh, what, how, how, what's the youngest you, like, when you first started smoking? Like, how old were you, dog? Because these little niggas not smoking at 13. Nah, I want 13. These niggas going crazy. I, maybe, I want to say either 16 or 17. Okay, okay, okay. Hell yeah, hell yeah. That first high ain't no motherfucking joke either. Nah. I'm all right, a, nigga. At first, I was at St. Andrews, nigga. I had all the confidence out there. Hey, bitch, in that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I was on a cloud, nigga, for sure. I want some half baked shit for real, for real. Yeah, no, nah, definitely. But no, that w early Wiz was was cold. That cushion orange juice, was like. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, Wiz, he's still straight, but he just ain't that 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 early on, nigga. And I don't know what that is. What what's that about, dog? How niggas a star for a certain way, but then I guess I don't know. I don't know if it's the money, if it's a nigga lifestyle. Shit just kind of like changes his whole little his whole little you know what I'm saying sound and shit with music. I mean, shit. I guess so. Like you know what I'm saying. I guess. Just getting older, more experience and shit like that. You get more money, so like your hunger for that yeah. shit ain't really there no more like that. Yeah, for sure. Niggas rich as hell, shit. And, that. and then certain times change, so niggas just like fall off sonically. Like niggas will not be caring to hear that shit a lot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> for real, for real. Like you imagine if you stay in this shit five, ten years strong and motherfuckers no. still fucking with you no, heavy. For sure, hell yeah. yeah, hell yeah. Cause niggas be popping off, nigga, heavy, nigga. Like and then sometimes niggas just. Like like with Detroit rappers though, we we fuck with Detroit rappers on a come up, but it's like once they blow up, we start like making up excuses not to fuck with them. Cause you think That's about right. motherfucking um, um T Grizzly, yeah, first day out niggas fuck them heavy, yeah. So then they got too popular, and niggas start fucking with them. Dope boys, so much motherfucker they got signed with motherfucking Atlantic, niggas kind of like fell off on them a little bit. Yeah. Shit. Like it's always like that though. Like we rock with a nigga on the motherfucking way up, but then when they get to that motherfucking on, they get up there. It's like, nigga, we fall off of them. Or we make any excuse not to fuck on them no more because they too big or some shit. So. Yeah, I, I, I done seen that a bunch of times. But we still fuck with Doug. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, for um, sure. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. yeah you feel for sure. Me? Yeah, no, fat, fat. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, hopefully that shit cool. changed up. And I hope y'all niggas ain't no haters no more and shit, dog. Because they was hating on dope boys, nigga, heavy, dog. Like... <laughs> they were, no, they was, they was though. They was. And like I said, it was boys. all cause of that that fight, nigga. Like nigga, shit, them niggas outnumbered, nigga. Yeah, no, and yeah, Cobo that fight, yeah, shit. that fight did change everything. Yeah, and that's why I always say payroll was the smartest one out of that bitch, cause he was never around. Hey, and I say that too all the time. <laughs> payroll, he ain't never around no bullshit. The only time I ever saw him around the bullshit when they was beating up them niggas up at college and shit. Y'all saw that video? <laughs> no, they I fight some college students. I, that's the only time I seen that nigga around. Other than that, he don't be around no bullshit. Cause remember they were fighting them hoes in the hotel? Yeah, yeah payroll wasn't there. around. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I want to be like payroll. Payroll the smart one, man. <laughs> dog, that nigga kid and everything, nigga. Man, yeah. wild as hell. Shout out to them niggas, though, dog. To me, I think they birthed the Detroit, the new Detroit sound. Prior to that, you had everybody had their own sound. Blade had their own sound. K D Z, a big hurt. But it's like once I can see your song too, I believe that changed the shit. It was that uh that um it's a good ass day. When kid dropped that shit, it's like niggas kinda like copied that flow, the beat and everything, dog. Like No, yeah, niggas did. Yeah, niggas did and shit like that. But I feel like what Blade had going on, Doughboys took it and like oh, no, ran sure. weird and they kinda yeah. Shit, yeah. But everybody did though. We all like came up under Blade and shit, his sound or whatever and shit like yeah. that. I mean it's it's branched off now, everybody doing like their own little thing, but especially around that era and shit like that, but people was just taking you know what I'm saying, what Blade sound was and just you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Running with it. Like I say something without being motherfucker uh shot down by Detroit niggas dog uh, with Blade. What was up? Blade really dope or he just like a dope nigga? Like was his flow really that sweet or just the shit he was talking about was like, all right, I wanna be like that when I get older. You know what the thing is with Blade with me? 
because when I was younger, shit, of course I listened, I liked his music, shit, but I was in, I was, I think I was in the fourth or fifth grade when he died, so it it didn't it, it affect me as much as it would not, because mm. how I feel about him since you know what I'm saying, growing up and you know what I'm saying, For sure. whatever, learning and shit. Uh, no, I thought he was a great artist, man. You know, yeah. he cold with raps and shit like that. I uh, yeah, you know, some some bars and stuff like that. I just felt like he was a better artist than a lot of people. He made better songs than people. Yeah, um, he was more of a yeah a, 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 a nigga who like he wasn't like no bar type nigga, but he'd make a good song. And he was like kind of like showing niggas what they wanted to be like. Nigga, damn, I want to be that like that nigga. That nigga out there getting money, flashy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah, Blade. Yeah, Blade definitely had a uh, better flow than a lot of niggas. Like, I don't think he was like a, a bar for bar type nigga and shit like that. Yeah. He, he had a couple punchlines here and there and stuff like that. But I always felt like Big Hurt was more as a metaphor type nigga. For sure, hell yeah, hell you know yeah. What I'm saying? It wasn't until like two years ago I thought Big Hurt was an East Side nigga. He just look East Side nigga. Than me. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> you from the West though? He's like an East Side nigga though, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like when I think about West Side artists, I think about Blade nigga, dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Flashy ass nigga and shit, dog. Yeah, recipes to blade. Yeah, nah, let's a, play some blade, man. Yeah, yeah, nigga was a legend and shit, dog. Yeah, now, facts. before we get to the music, shit, dog. What's some shit that you wanted to be that you never told nobody, dog? Like, nigga, I wanted to tap dance, nigga. I never told nobody that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a little nigga, dog. Uh, shit. Uh, what I wanted to be. Uh, I don't know. I had a couple backup jobs for real, for real. Like, <laughs> Nigga, I thought about being a therapist, Duh. Uh, fucking uh, a school counselor, a fucking um, high school history teacher. <laughs> nigga, I thought about a bunch of shit. Yeah, but shit, a therapist, nigga, what niggas be coming to you with their problems, dog? Yeah, yeah, and I always listening, try to get niggas good advice and shit like that. Do you, oh, no, do you get niggas good advice or you give them what they want to hear? No, I definitely get niggas good advice. Oh, okay, because niggas yeah. want to hear some shit like, oh, I'm going through this shit, this bitch that fucked me over. And nigga say some shit like, oh, I know this nigga want to hear this shit, me feed his ego and shit, but it's hard to tell a nigga the truth about themselves. So. Yeah, no, you definitely got to, though, man. People got to hear that shit, man, for real, yeah. for real, because motherfuckers be the problem, and you be like, bro, you know you could have handled this a certain type of way, or maybe yeah. you should look at it from this point of view, you feel me? For sure, hell yeah. Now, how you is, like, with, like on a female aspect, nigga, like, nigga, you ever, nigga, <laughs> I ain't called this nigga with problems and shit, he's like, dog, you sound like a bitch right now. <laughs> like, do you, is you that nigga, or, like, have I, anybody ever had to tell you, like, nigga, you sound like a bitch right now, like, man up, nigga, get that shit together. I'm pretty sure, like, you know what I'm saying, my big brother talked to me about certain <laughs> situations, like, hey, man, you should whoop it like this, or maybe, you know what I'm saying, whatever, whatever and shit like that, you feel me? Hell yeah, because when she got that thriller, she gonna, nigga, she gonna have you change your whole little... <laughs> I'm telling you. You ain't gonna be you, nigga. I'm telling you. <laughs> you ain't gonna be you. She whipped that shit out on you good. I'm telling you. You and that bitch. All right, you ever fake cry for a chick, nigga? Fake cry? Yeah. Oh, you really cry? Like, what's your, I, <laughs> no, it's okay to cry for a chick, nigga, shit. No, nah, nope. I don't think. The only time I ever cried over a chick was in the movie. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Chick, what, what was that? What, what movie, nigga? Uh, Street Code Broke. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. Oh, it's about you as an actor. Me as an actor, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh shit! Yeah, I'm like, that's the only time I ever cried for <laughs> over a female or about a female, or you know what I'm saying? No, because I didn't fake cry for a motherfucking dog. Just see if that shit work, and then don't work, and you feel dumb as fuck that you fake crying. Nigga. Nah, nah, I never <laughs> fake cry. Like don't leave me. Ah, <laughs> yeah, niggas even saying like they kill themselves if their girl leaves no. and shit like that, man. I'm saving that for somebody special. I'm gonna use it one day. <laughs> so you ain't had nobody like that, dog. No, no. Niggas, dog, niggas that came across some motherfucking chicks that they had they, they, them niggas on motherfucking suicide, nigga. Like, yeah, that's suicide wild. Watch. I, I, I ain't never threatened to kill myself. I ain't never did that shit. But I ain't, I ain't fake crowd for sure. Turned the other way and shit in the bed, like, do that shit a couple times. Like, damn, this bitch ain't reacting? I ain't, I ain't did this shit on the wrong bitch. Like, I ain't fucked up, dog. <laughs> Hell no. But no, a counselor, yeah, or a motherfucking therapist, yeah, that shit. Like, but you gotta have some real patience for niggas and. Really listen to some niggas and hear them out, dog. Yeah, no. Then be some definitely. probably be some goofy ass niggas in there telling some goofy ass shit though. But I don't know, dog. I you ever felt like you need to see a therapist, dog? Yeah, most definitely, yeah. Hey, have you ever uh, seen one? Uh, no, but I, I need to get on that though. I'm gonna try to uh, do that this year though. Yeah, no, that, for sure. A lot of niggas like I, I be tell, I be thinking my little brother like that nigga definitely that nigga be mad at everybody, dog. That nigga just a, mad, a built up mad nigga, dog. Like <laughs> he, he he a diarrhea black a mad black man <laughs> shit, dog. That nigga always mad, dog. But no, sometimes you need to see some somebody for some shit that you going through, especially if you ain't got nobody to talk to, I feel like. If you got somebody to talk to, then maybe that shit ease shit up. But if you going through some shit, nigga, that you need to, you know what I'm saying, fix within yourself, I definitely advise niggas to probably go see some help and shit, dog. Yeah, mental health is very, very important, man. They don't get discussed enough yeah, during yeah. the black community. You and feel then me? we try to hide that shit or try yeah, to, like, motherfucking yeah. drink or smoke or yeah. be in the streets, like, just to cover up the shit that we going through mentally instead yeah. of 
trying to get that motherfucker assistance that we need because some niggas think they too tough for the help. Yeah, no, most definitely. Yeah, man. And we'll push people off too. Like, oh, he crazy. Get the fuck. Like, we ain't dealing with that nigga and shit like that. For Knowing sure. people need help and shit. You know what I'm saying? Hell Try yeah. to get somebody to talk to him. You feel me? So. No, for sure. That's a fact, dog. That's a fact. Now, at what age did you uh did you get into music, dog? And you like, dog, it's something that I want to fuck around getting to, dog. I started learning how to rap when I was 16, shit yeah. like that. And then um I didn't take it serious until 2018, I believe. Uh huh. Yeah, that's when I first dropped my first single. Okay. Officially and shit like that. Then I just been trying to go at it every since. Now, do you go back and listen to that first shit? Like, dog, I, 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 this shit was. I, I thought this shit was hot back then, but this shit wasn't all that. Uh, yeah, I thought it was fire, especially for the time and shit yeah. like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, y'all know who Skirt McGirt is? I heard that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you know what I'm saying? I dropped it with him and shit like that. I couldn't shoot the video with him. Okay. But um. Yeah, I thought shit was fire though. I feel like it was slept on for real, for real. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, because yeah. yeah, like a lot of times we be like thinking shit hot, then we go back and listen to it, like, what the fuck was I rapping, nigga? Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh like, yeah, no, that's most definitely like how I feel about my first like songs and raps. I be like, dog, that shit garbage. <laughs> bro. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now your your rap name is is Meech Icewood, or Meech Icewood, Meech Icewood, Meech Icewood. Yeah. How you come up with that? And what were some earlier whack ass names you had? Because everybody uh, always got some whack ass names. Damn, I think. Uh... The only rap name I had before Meech Icewood was uh, A1. A1? Yeah. Nah, right, what what made you change that shit? Like, you like this shit on? <laughs> this shit ain't working out. Well, A1? Because it was too many motherfuckers calling themselves A1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I don't like that shit, man. <laughs> then, um, you know, and as I grew as a person and shit like that, my aspirations and, um, you know what I'm saying, me growing up in the streets and just following certain dudes and, like, how they were speaking how they treated certain people and then how, how and how the public perceived them and stuff like that you know what i'm saying i'm like oh these real niggas and shit like that you know what I'm saying? i never really had a uh father figure to look up to personally and stuff or sure. even an older male role model for real for real you know so yeah. my big brother only maybe a year or two older than me and then my older cousins they was out doing whatever whatever so they wasn't sure. like you know what i'm saying so a nigga so i really just looked up to like you know what i'm saying blade and meat and shit you feel me yeah. so I wanted yeah, yeah. to, you know what I'm saying, do something to pay respects to them or how they made me feel growing up, you know what I'm saying? For sure, no, fast, that's hell about yeah. It. Hell yeah, no, that's dope. Hell yeah. Now you say, yo, yo, you, did you ever have a relationship with your father or you just don't, like, nigga? Nah. Ever? Okay. Now, do that, do that, like, once you have, you got kids? No, nah, not yet. Now, once you have kids, do that, like, kind of, like, put some, like, like, some fire to you, like, I'm going to make sure, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be that nigga as a dad, like, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes we, sometimes we don't know how to parent because we ain't had no, no parent, you feel right. me? You know, I my, my my dad passed away. I was like fucking thirteen and shit. But I'm like nigga, shit. I'm make sure like once I have my little man, like I'm be that nigga that I, I envision my dad to be once I got older and shit. So it do that kind of like nigga, like do you want kids anyway? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, so that should give you like motivation and be like nigga, shit, the best dad ever, and shit. Yeah, most definitely. I definitely want to uh, be in my kids' life, man. And um, you know, I even have aspirations of, you know what I'm saying, marrying their mother, not having a bunch of baby mamas and shit like that. I want all my for kids sure. to live in one house, you feel me? No, man? for sure, hell yeah. And, uh, you know. Hell yeah. But see, look at, see, but shit, shit, the life you done been through, nigga, you gonna have a little girl. That's gonna be your first kid. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm That's thinking so. Gonna... <laughs> I'm thinking so, man. It probably <laughs> will, man. Fuck with the hoes and shit, nigga, like, went through being a motherfucking whoever you is and shit, dog. Them type of niggas always have a girl at first. I swear hum- to God, that man. That they humble their ass, like, yeah, damn, man. all right. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm hoping for a boy though. Hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, cause I ain't have a girl until like my I got three, so my third one was a girl. So okay. nigga, I'm I'm out, nigga, I'm out the game. Oh yeah, like, nigga, I'm, yeah, I'm out that bitch, like motherfucker. What's ain't saying? I'm out this bitch, I'm paying for it. <laughs> but yeah, nigga, we had that little girl. It's like nigga, you try to be, you know, saying tough with your with your boys and shit, dog. Make sure they they come up nigga hard and shit. But your little girl, you like, damn, I'm a soft ass nigga, dog, for her. Oh yeah, most definitely. Gotta that's be, okay, man. nigga. Shit, yeah, that's okay. Definitely gotta be, man. Yeah, that's okay, nigga. Shit, let's go ahead and pray for this nigga Meach to get a motherfucker a boy. Shit. <laughs> 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 Hell yeah. Now, shit, uh, and wife material, nigga. Like I wasn't even thinking about that shit till I got it with the right motherfucker, dog. Mm-hmm. So yeah, nigga. Shit, I hope you, you know, what I'm saying, be blessed with the right run, nigga. Not yeah, though. facts. Because most niggas be motherfucker hoodwink, nigga, and get that motherfucker shit. They think the right one, like damn, this. This motherfucker just like everybody else, dog. Yeah, no, most definitely, man. You're born with somebody that's crazy as hell, and now you got to deal with somebody that's crazy for 18 years. Hell yeah. Now, is there anybody that you regret in your past letting go, dog, that was the one? Ah, right, yeah, I got a few. Yeah, I got yeah a few. talk about it, nigga. Like, what, what, how you feel when you, like, did she get married or some shit? Like, my, well, my first love got married twice. Damn. Yeah, yeah, that first time hurt, though, nigga. Huh? That first time hurt, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
I just, I just start. I was just talking to her last night, though, man. She, 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 she good. She good. She in yeah, good spirits yeah. and shit. But uh, I had one ex that, yeah, I shouldn't have let go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you, you was too young, on some dumb shit. Yeah, yeah. man. Dumb I was, I was going through shit. I, I'm one of the type of people, like, especially when I was younger, like, if I go through some shit, like, if I know I'm about to be fucked up, I don't want nobody around me, and I don't want to be around nobody. I'm just sure. focused. You feel me? Yeah. You feel me? But. She was like on some shit like shit. I'll still be with you even though whatever, whatever. We was younger, we was kids and shit. But yeah. I was still like nah, whatever, whatever and yeah, shit like yeah, that. But I shouldn't have sure. did that though. I should have just stuck it out and just you know what I'm saying. Cause yeah, but be, doing... people like that though, you need them around your side. Cause a bitch like you fall off, bitch will just leave you alone. Like I ain't fucking with you, nigga. Yeah, for sure. Fast. Yeah, you feel Hell me? Yeah. So yeah, you don't supposed to push those type of people out the way. Hell yeah, yeah. But if a motherfucker fuck with you and yo when you down, nigga. Yeah. That's why I got married, nigga, to my, my wife now, nigga. I was, nigga, I was down, nigga, like. <sighs> Nigga, I was broke, nigga. You ever been so broke, nigga? You thought about you was in bed, bed nigga, getting teary eyed, nigga. You so broke, like damn, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro, fucked up, nigga. Fucked up, Hell nigga. Yeah. Like, she fucked right there up. with you, nigga. Still, motherfucking sleep with your ass, nigga. Cooking, nigga, nigga, nigga. Let you hit this shit, nigga. You never be like, damn, it's the one right here. Yeah, I swear and, to God, I'm on my knuckles, nigga. But these bitches bleeding. And yeah. she right there, nigga. Yeah, man. Cause most of these motherfuckers are leave your ass in the quickness. Like, oh, you down? Ain't fuck you, cuz. Yeah, yeah, most definitely, man. I ain't trying to fuck with you while you fucked up, man. Yeah. You feel me? So yeah, yeah. those ones you definitely can't fuck with. And it ain't like I'm saying like, oh, you should fuck with somebody that's broken up like that. I ain't saying that, no, but I'm sure. just, I'm just saying like, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you know you got a good nigga or a good female and shit like that, and they going through something, and shit, man, thug it out with them. Yeah, you feel me? cause shit, life happened. Now if they yeah. get to that situation, and they ain't trying to recover from that shit. Then yeah, you feel me? Yeah, I understand. But if a nigga trying to get back on his feet, niggas, shit, life happened. Nigga, you be up, nigga, for years and shit, fall off one time and shit. Oh, you just gotta stick with that nigga. So if definitely, not, then man. you just a motherfucking user, old punk ass nigga. Yeah, facts. <laughs> facts. Hell yeah, dog. When now, dog, we always talk about like when you rapping and shit, dog. Mm -hmm. You like you said, you say you. He was A1, then he went to Meach Icewood yeah, shit, dog. Yeah. We rap in our bedrooms, and that shit come out looking, sounding good. Yeah. But we get in the booth, and that shit, like, damn, this shit a whole different little thing. Yeah, like, yeah, most definitely. Give me your, what was your first time in the studio, like, dog? Like, was it a real studio at somebody's crib? First time in the studio. Uh, the first time that I can remember recording, I was in, yeah, I was in somebody's basement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was in somebody's basement. Good classic, dog. Yeah. And was that shit, like, like was it different? Like, because you got them headphones on, you rapping. Sometimes niggas try to rap too much on beat. That shit don't come out right. Like, did it come out how you thought it come out, or just like, dog, I need to work on this shit a little bit more. Uh, one of the songs did. You know, you, you oh damn no, I, yeah, I wasn't get no, I wasn't in the back. I was in somebody's crib though. Yeah, it came out, it came out straight. Yeah, yeah it came out straight and shit like that. Um. But you know, being in the studio and shit like that, you gotta like really practice on that shit, like performing sure. the song the right way, because it could sound different in your head. Then you go to record and be like, God damn, this shit don't sound like I. I thought it would sound like that shit. That shit happened to me a lot too, though. I just be like, damn, you're like, the crew, like this is a hit right here. Yeah. Duh, but then it's like you reading that bitch and shit, though. Like, yeah. That's still your different monster, though. It is. No, most definitely is. Hell man. yeah. What's some shit you got having them up to make a good studio session? Good studio session. You need food. Um, you need lick people. Weed. Yeah. Shit, Dolo. Good, good vibes. As long as the vibes good, man. And um, yeah, all I really need is good vibes, man. And we just let's get in this bitch and do what we gotta do and shit, man. Yeah, and, for sure. You know what I'm saying. Do you got a consistent engineer that you go to or a consistent spot? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Cause you need those dog build that relationship, nigga. Who gonna keep it real with you and not just take your money? Yeah, yeah. And I, yeah, and I, I fuck with people like that. I don't like just recording with people that just let you record anything. Yeah, like yeah. dog, like they'll let you say a, a <laughs> fucked up word or just like have a certain sound sound off and just keep on and shit like that. And I don't fuck with people like Hell that, yeah. man. I fuck with niggas that be like, hey, bro, do that over. No, or, for sure, you yeah. need that shit. Especially if I don't spend my money with you, dog. At least have that motherfucking currency to tell me I'm fucking up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But nigga, just be like, fuck this shit. All right, that nigga ain't pay fifty an hour, nigga. And that nigga say ABC's in that bitch and I don't give a fuck nigga Go ahead give me that bread nigga Hey yeah that shit dope Like You on that bitch Texting nigga like that This nigga whack as fuck bro <laughs> <laughs> Yeah Now who can keep it real with you About your music though Like We need those people in our circle That can keep it real With acting music Whatever we do We need somebody to be like Alright dog You need to do this different Or try this approach Or you got somebody like that In your circle Who can keep it real with you And you a Motherfucking consider what they saying. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, my big brother, I definitely uh care about his opinion and shit mm -hmm. like that. So if you telling me that he don't really like something, it's probably not it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you feel me? So yeah, you rather hear that shit from them than the streets. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Like, cause you that's, you know, nigga, hell no, nah, ain't you, bro? Like, but then you gotta be that type of nigga to be able to accept that criticism though, cause. Some niggas would be thinking everybody hating, which some niggas do hate because they ain't doing what you're doing. Yeah, it's true. But you got to be able to be like, all right, dog, I feel what you're saying, dog. This shit ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Most definitely, man. You know? 
it, you know, it's just at the end of the day, man, you gotta uh, cause I don't know, I don't like a lot of fucking music, but a lot of other people like it too. That's <laughs> another thing too. So shit, you know, yeah. sometimes you just gotta do what's best for you, and maybe it reaches certain people that it's supposed to reach. You feel me? No, cause like nigga with me, I am at first I ain't like Peasy. Mm-hmm. At first, I ain't like Peasy. I ain't like Babyface. Mm-hmm. And then it, I'm like, damn. This ain't hard, dog. Like, I started liking Peasy like a couple months ago, dog. I started going back and listening. Like, matter of fact, what made me like Peasy when he dropped that mistake with him, and then he dropped that mistake with uh, Payroll. Okay, yeah. I'm like, damn, this nigga ain't bad. Like, I fuck with Payroll heavy. Yeah. And then I go back and listen to Babyface. Like, nigga, like, damn, this nigga, this nigga hard. Like, it took me a minute. It's like, because I'm like, all right, everybody sound the same. I ain't really giving it a listen. And then after you start listening to these niggas, that shit was dope. Yeah, so, most definitely. Hell yeah. Speaking of music, nigga, shit, you dropped. Yo, your latest project is uh Morrissey Animal Three. Yeah, that shit hard. This nigga, like, look, like look, I knew look. you from the ad that we gonna get to that shit. I'm like, this nigga rap too. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so that shit. So what's been the response from the tape and shit? And do you feel like it's it, it's been getting the love that it deserved? Uh, from the people that like you know what I'm saying, give it a chance and listen to it. They say they fuck with it and shit like that, man. Yeah. I feel like this is my best uh project so far, but um with all uh, the other two and shit like that, like yeah. you know what I'm saying, you can really listen to all that shit straightforward and for shit. Sure. You feel me? But uh. Now what what came up with the uh, with the title like more city animal like how do you come up with this series and shit? Uh, yeah, that's like my nickname shit like that. I wanted to like you know what I'm saying give myself like a, a crown per se and shit like that. Like you know what I'm saying like yeah. you know we live in a, a jungle. You feel me? For sure. Hell so yeah. like you know what I'm saying more city animal and shit like that. Like I'm trying to be like head lion and yeah. shit. You feel I told me? you uh, when you go through that foster care adoption, yeah. <laughs> the niggas be animals though. <laughs> like yeah. the niggas crazy. But no, that shit hard though. Tape hard. I be hating shit. when niggas like I hate when niggas who be on the come up or like trying to you know what I'm saying break through don't get the love that other niggas who so called popular you yeah. feel me and like I said yo shit that shit hard I'm not just saying that because you next to me I, you know what I'm saying I only Appreciate bring it. people in once I kind of like look at their discography as far as like what they doing shit and be like alright they dope I don't like just to bring niggas in on the show who just be like hey let me get in I listen to music or look at their work and it's trash but alright come on yeah no I like to actually listen to this shit so speaking of that I always do a top three or a top five on a nigga project, depending on how many songs on the on gotcha. the project. So, what's your top three on this shit? Mine is a uh, lately, Warner Jeff and Soul Bleed. Uh, Soul Bleed. Uh, damn, I, I like lately. Damn, hold on, I gotta, I gotta look at the track list because I think I dropped. A Soul Bleed for sure. Soul Bleed, I, I, that's the one you did the video to. Yeah, that's Soul Bleed. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I think Facts Two was on there, wasn't it? I think so, yeah. yeah. I, I, I fuck with facts too. That's, yeah. And then my other one, shit, I like slide back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. well, uh, yeah, girly from Memphis, shit, chopper tea and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I like slide back. That shit. Hard. Yeah, yeah. That shit was hard. That shit was hard, dog. That shit was hard. Now, uh, I always do this little segment. Talk about talk about the bars. Mm-hmm. I take a piece of a bar from a song. We just talk about it. All right. So you on um uh, on Soul Bleed, you say roaches and rats, food stamps, how we grew up. Talk about your brokest times growing up, dog. Like one, you remember like, like your brokest memory, dog, growing up as a little one, dog. Man, shout out a lot of them. <laughs> shit, honestly, nigga. <laughs> Cause yeah. dog, I remember thinking with the roaches, nigga. Like if you know you got company, you got to keep them lights on. <laughs> Cause if the lights <laughs> off and it's dark, and you turn the bitch on, nigga. Roaches scattering, nigga. So. Nah, I definitely grew up like that, man. Yeah. Like roaches and rats and shit like that, man. Like For sure. fucked up, like roaches and cereal type shit, man. Yeah. Like I definitely, you know what I'm saying, grew up like that, nigga. And that was when we was all fucking, um, fucking food stamps. They used to come in the back of the book and shit like that. <laughs> yeah. For sure. It wasn't no card, nigga. Yeah, no, it wasn't no card, man. For sure. That yeah, that was. Hell yeah, yeah. That's when you be ashamed. You gotta go store that book, nigga. Try to pay that bitch low key. <laughs> <laughs> I'm when, telling you. When it came out that car, nigga, it was like, nigga, that was the man, that was the best thing ever, nigga. Swear to God, man. Hell yeah. So shit, that's the. It was ever a broke time in your life that you didn't think, you, like, damn, how we gonna get out this bitch? Like, mm. probably a few of them. Uh, I'd have been, yeah, I'd have been fucked up before. Like, <laughs> fucked up, fucked up. Like, damn, like. Cause nigga, I remember we stayed my dad friend and shit in the attic and shit. I'm like, damn, we broke. We ain't got the whole house, nigga. We got a section of this house as a whole family. Yeah. <laughs> shit, we had to uh, move in with my grandma one time and shit. Um, yeah. Our clothes and all our shit was in the basement. The basement flooded and we lost all our shit. Man. So, yeah, we was fucked up. Hell, yeah. And yeah, you got to get rid of them bitches because then it starts yeah. my meal doing yeah, shit. Yeah, meal doing shit, man. We man. lived in the hotel before for a month and I had no career to go to and shit. Sure. Hell, yeah. yeah. Right. I know about that shit. We had yeah. to do that shit for a good week. And shit, nigga. Me and my uh, my son, mom at the time and shit, though. We was at the 
the motherfucker uh, hotels right there on, uh, on Jefferson, right before you get to uh, downtown St. Antoine and all that shit, dog. It's some little uh, bullshit ass hotel room. Uh, they, got, they got a pool. <laughs> ah, no, that's what you talking about. <laughs> that's what you talking about. <laughs> what, that bitch? what the fuck name of that fucking hotel? Uh, uh, something. I forgot. I know what you're talking yeah. about though. Hell yeah, because niggas used to take hoes there at the prom and at the uh, homecoming and shit. Damn, it's right before you get to St. Antoine, dog. It's, you go in that bitch. It's a, like I said, it's a pool in that bitch right in the front. It's a pool. Damn, dog. I want. I keep want to say stay in, dog. But that bitch I believe it was sleep in. Sleep in. Yeah. Yeah. Sleep I believe. I, in. Dog. That bitch on Jefferson, dog. Right down there before you hit Bella. I mean, before you hit uh, downtown, nigga. That's a little hood right ass spot, dog. Swear to God. <laughs> Swear to God. Man. That was the cheapest spot we could find, dog. Sleep and then after we can stay in there, I'm like, listen, you gonna have to go with your grandma. I'm gonna have to go with my mom crib. Like, we can't be in this bitch, no. It was like, nigga, it was about 175 a week. So it wasn't bad, nigga, for hotel prices, though. But it's like, where it was at, nigga? Like, and it definitely had a hotel. I mean, it definitely had a pool in that bitch. Because all the little hood rats go in that bitch when they want to go swimming when it's 90 out. Like, we going to take my kids out. That's what God, man. <laughs> bitch, you broke. We know where you at, though. I was in that same bitch when I was down bad. That's what a God. Damn, but no, them broke days, though, when you get out that shit. Nigga, you appreciate that shit, though, dog. No, most definitely, though. No, you appreciate that shit. Most definitely, man. I'd have been fucked up living in bandos and shit. So, yeah, I man, understand. Hell yeah. Now, another one. Talk uh, talk saucy. Okay. You said, nigga, scamming still ain't touch 10. Still ain't touch 10. Time to give it up. Yeah. So, it'd be a lot of niggas who'd be like these fake ass, you know what I'm saying? Niggas out here get money, but really ain't get money. No, no, no. They just in it for the lifestyle, but really ain't get money, dog. No, nah, nah, not at all. Yeah. Not so, at all, man. Like, like, shit, nigga, talk to them niggas, dog. Like, man. Like, them niggas, like, Cause most niggas you, you just get a job bro Yeah yeah most definitely <laughs> at, at, at this point Just get a job man Like Duh. Get a 9 to 5 You can stack up 10 Just off your work checks And shit like that man Cause yeah. A lot of shit Don't be working for niggas They just do it because It's popular And they just think it's cool They just wanna be portrayed as that You feel sure, me fact, It ain't yeah, working yeah. for them man Hell Scamming yeah. Or even Or some niggas hustling And shit like that man Keep yeah. fucking up their bag And shit like You ain't even Stacking your money up right man You might as well get that shit up No for sure Niggas just wanna say They into life But yeah. really ain't into life Nigga like you and the bitch like back before the motherfucking uh dispensaries, niggas in the streets selling nicks and dimes and shit like nigga for a whole day. You what you selling, nigga? You could be working at McDonald's, nigga. Real talk, like, yeah. You ain't you ain't doing shit, nigga. So Most definitely. Get get your life right, dog. Swear to God, man. Yeah, we yeah, or had that be your side hustle, nigga. Have a job and then do that shit on the side. Yeah, that's <laughs> wrong, man, cause that shit ain't working for you. So yeah, shit. Yeah. Now what's love? All right. So you you say I never say I love you, but you on your feelings. You ever had a chick, dog, that you? You know, you in that bitch laying, laying down the motherfucking... You know, you laying down pipe and shit, dog. You doing your thing and shit. But she love you, though. But you just like... You know us as niggas. We in that bitch. We fucking around. No, we shouldn't be fucking around with this bitch because we don't fuck around with her like that. But she she love us. And we know we know she love us. But we still continue to go over there every night, nigga. Fuck around to the club. like. <laughs> you be in those situations where you know your little bitch, but you still going over that bitch, like, still nigga, giving her that motherfucking shit, dog. Hell yeah, a few. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like Have you ever shit. got scary? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> bitch went through my phone while I was asleep one time. Woke me up, slammed that shit in my chest. I'm like, damn, bitch, what's going on? I'm like, damn. But, uh, but you thinking back in your mind, she probably just a jump off. But yeah. She thinking that you the one. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. I know I ain't fuck on her like that on that type of time, but shit, she, she, you know what I'm saying? Feeling like, oh, well, this nigga, yeah, he won the shit. I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? How do you break that off, though? When, how do you, like, stop a bitch from being, nigga, too emotional when it comes to you, dog? Like, a bitch would be like, oh, yeah, nigga, Meech Icewood is the one. But you tell your uh, niggas, like, this bitch is a runner. I st shit, I stop being around them and shit like that. Stop fucking them <laughs> consistently and shit. Stop answering my phone like that, man. And yeah. Yeah, just try to cut their ass off and push them to the side or whatever. Yeah, have a chick ever did you like that? Uh, like cut me off, push me to the side? Yeah, you like, damn, bitch, what happened? Pretty sure. <laughs> Pretty sure they have. <laughs> He's all questioning yourself and shit, though. Yeah, because bitches do that. They'll, they'll fuck with you for a little minute, and then they'll stop talking to you. I don't you know start, why. You start thinking about everything you did. Like, damn, what the fuck I do wrong? Yeah, like, I don't the know. Bitch they'll just be bored. They just be like, fucking yeah, flirting with nigga. Hell yeah. Like, nigga, like, about the as niggas, we just do that shit, though. Like, we we don't be having the balls to tell a bitch, like, it's it, it, beat it. We still fuck with a bitch, knowing that this bitch too involved, and you ain't even trying to fuck with her like that. Yeah, that's facts. Man. Just trying to spare feelings and shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, bitch, I, you see, I ain't call you at one in the morning, nigga. Like, after the <laughs> club, after the bar, nigga, I'll come over your crib then. 
But yeah, nigga, right, we, nigga ain't trying to take you out on a date or nothing like that, man. Nigga, hell yeah. yeah man. You ain't even met nigga parents or family or no, nothing yeah. like that, man. Come if on. If I'm bringing around the homies or family or something like that, I'm not trying to take you out during a date. You already know what's up. Yeah, man. Like, this is a nigga come in, bam, bam, nigga, thank you. All right, I'm out. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Now I don't deal with it. You said family count a nigga, I'm the meal ticket. Yep. Do you be like you feel like nigga like you that want to get your family out the hood or get yep. out their situations though? Yep, and I know, I know a lot of them feel that way too, shit like that. So it's a lot of pressure on me to mm-hmm. uh, try to be successful in this shit or whatever. Sure. You feel Is there like too much pressure? Like you be like, damn, like, like nigga, like I shouldn't be the one having to, you know what I'm saying? Do all this shit or get all this shit, you know what I'm saying? Especially like you say you ain't got no kids and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Do you have like it's too much pressure on you that you kind of like put more pressure on yourself to get out this motherfucking shit and and make it or whatever like that? So yeah, sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But um to me, you know, I'm not I'm not like uh I'm not a cause for everybody's problems, so I can't be the solution for everybody's problems as well. For sure, hell you feel yeah. me? Hell yeah. But um, you know, to me, pressure either buzz pipe or make diamonds and shit like that. So like, you know what I'm saying? I can't sweat under that shit, man. No, for know? sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And like I said, sometimes nigga like when you got family and shit, you already know how it is. You be like, all right, well shit, I see you do the raw I'm at, I can probably get y'all niggas out of this shit quicker. Right. But on the flip side, you make it That's when you got niggas At the Woolworths Who didn't even give a fuck About what you was doing Trying to get Facts. help and shit though. Facts. Like Nigga you didn't watch One movie Listen to one tape nigga, At all And you and this bitch Trying to go ahead And get some love from me And shit though. Yeah that's facts Motherfuckers are just Try to Try to leech off you Hell they yeah can, You feel me No for sure that For sure slide, man. Now you already know Nigga every show dog Like I said I hit you man We Shy style Friday and shit, dog. No, Tuesday and shit, dog. Wherever we drop this bitch. <laughs> we always do like a little rap, nigga. It's a little 16 and shit, dog. So, shit, you good with it? Yeah, that's cool. All right, bet, dog. Pull up the beat and shit, dog. We get my man, Meech Icewood, this motherfucking shit, dog. Fellow Eastsider and shit. More shitty animal in this motherfucker, man. This bitch, man. Meech Icewood. Yeah. Full of blue strips I see dead people Run up on me wrong way You a dead nigga Ain't beefing with no six nines They got the feds with him He thought he was big and bad Till them shells hit him Block getting hot Had to swap it with the Desert Eagle Snake shit Fill it in the air I feel like Benny Single White bitch Fucking with the gang She got jungle fever Thousand grams Bag it up my hands Got my palms itching Stop saying you niggas bosses When you the middle man Touch the bitch Took one hit It did the thriller dance Mob shit Cutting off heads Like the Mexicans Said she wasn't gay Perk turned to a lesbian, snowfall, don't give a fuck, we serve any time, slop slapping all on the first, we made them wait in line, Lord forgive me cause I know I ain't living right, fiend called, said he OD'd and came back to life, I made a sacrifice, I was broke, had to get it right, when crackers catch me with his fit, they gon' give me life, no sleep on the streets, this is zombie life, heard you be lacing hoes, you the cosmic type, break the work down with a sword, like I'm a Sean, a face shot and knock out his eye, like he breaks son, six shots all in his back, one in his head, he My nigga motherfucker Meach Icewood is bitch dog Thrill on you hoes Moonwalk bitch That nigga say Cosby is bitch I wanted to rap on that bitch But I ain't gonna do it yeah, no, Go ahead man <laughs> Damn, no, I ain't got shit for it dog Hey man I appreciate it Man appreciate good, y'all man I appreciate a good motherfucker Rap on this bitch dog Yeah walking dead man Hell yeah, yeah Some niggas be in the bitch Like oh, what the fuck This nigga rap that shit for <laughs> <laughs> Now when it comes to the music shit Cause we about to I wanna talk about the movie shit Before we end oh, the shit yeah, When it comes to the music shit though you can go ahead and tie up the, um, the movie shit too. What's some shit that you hate that you got to deal with, bro? With this shit, dog. With the movie shit? Movie and acting shit, just as a, a whole with the industry. What What's some shit that you... Because niggas love, love what they do. Mm-hmm. But it's always... With love is always some shit that you hate about it. You know what? Uh, I recently just bumped into some shit that I, that I didn't like about it and shit. Like, because till then, everything been smooth, for real, for real. Mm-hmm. Uh... Like certain motherfuckers uh, uh, try to manipulate you and shit like that. For sure. You feel me? You gotta stand on your principles because yeah. they'll try to try to make you do some bullshit or whatever. You feel me? For sure. Like like they'll try to try to make you try to play a role that ain't really you or some shit like that. You know what no, I'm saying? Facts, yeah, yeah. facts man. Yeah, like yeah, they'll yeah. be on some weirdo shit. Yeah, like they'll yeah. try to make you play like a, a, a ABC character or some shit <laughs> like that, man. No, and, you for know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah, and no yeah. disrespect to them and nothing like that. I just don't do that or I don't play them type of roles and shit like yeah. that. Oh yeah, I see what you say with ABC. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know what the fuck that was till somebody said that to me. I'm like, what the fuck is that? A cop? Like what Yeah, the yeah, yeah, for like, sure. Yeah, I'm like, nah, I don't do we don't do that over here. Like so I ain't you, playing so type it, of roles. it's safe to say with some roles, nigga, 
you ain't about to set yourself off to do that shit. No, nah, not nah, not at all. You feel yeah. me? Yeah, yeah. man. Cause yeah. like I be looking at what's what's that? Uh, uh, power, power book two with Tyreek yeah. and shit. You seen that shit? Uh, you know I haven't watched it yet. Nope. Okay, so you got the one nigga. He he married. Mm -hmm. Got family, but on the on the road he gay. He playing that gay role too gay too. Like, he playing it too good. Mm. So I'm like, damn, could you play that role knowing you a straight man, but you doing it because you a what a thespian nigga, you an actor like you an actor actor. You see, I feel like me personally, shit like that, like you know what I'm saying, like I'm I'm not that good of an actor to do <laughs> shit like that, man. I like I'm like, bro, I, and the plus music is my first thing too. You feel For me? Sure. The type of shit I do and shit like that. I'm like, bro, ain't nobody gonna yeah, ain't nobody gonna take your yeah, 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 like motherfucker on some gangster shit. Yeah, like bro, ain't nobody yeah, gonna do, you know what I'm saying. So I'm like, like I'm just not comfortable doing them type of roles any fucking way. So like that shit not for me. You feel For me? sure. So, now, now, first time I saw you, dog. Yeah. On McGraw Ave and shit, dog. Yeah. You know, we had a whole pandemic, and I think that's when everybody got hit to McGraw Ave was doing the yeah. pandemic and shit, dog, because it was something that we should be trying to fill up our time. Yeah. So I'm like, everybody, you know what I'm saying? I'm on Facebook and Instagram, I see McGraw Ave, McGraw Ave, Shaq didn't post about McGraw yeah, Ave and shit. Yeah. So I'm like, damn, what the fuck? Let me go ahead and get hip to this shit. So I'm watching, like, damn, this shit hard, but you could tell, like, the breakdown when niggas was, like, shooting in different years because my man, 40 year Grey, had a fucking fro one time. Yeah. Nigga had a nigga dress. Motherfucker, uh, what's his name? Lost a little weight. Nigga was a little chubbier and all that shit, dog. Yeah. My, what's my nigga name? Damn. The other, the dark skin nigga on that bitch. Murder. That, murder. Yeah, murder. Pain murder. Was, yeah. Nigga had motherfucker broke his right arm. Nigga, bitch was left yeah, arm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it was definitely a lot of, like, yeah. switch ups. Shout out to my nigga Thomas Harris. He was on this bitch, yeah, dog. Shout out to Thomas Harris, man. T, what's up, Hell, man? Yeah, nigga. Um, but no, but like that's my first time peeping you, uh, using that mother for like what two or three episodes. Um, you wind up get the you know what I'm saying they drowned your ass in the bathtub. Yeah, they dropped me together. <laughs> <laughs> Popped you in the back of the head. Shout yeah, out to my nigga. Was he was on the bitch who, shot, who was uh, who was one of the niggas in the uh, in the scene and shit. Seth. Uh, no, not Sam. Sam got killed early too. Oh, right. The nigga who's in the bathtub who be doing the music shit, dog, with the motherfucking bear and shit. Who's on this bitch, dog? Damn, my bad. I forgot his name. I gotta go back and look. He's bigger nigga. No, skinny ass, dark skin nigga, dog. Who was in the scene? Oh, he was in the scene too. Which shit too? Who had shot you in the? Out here, the one who shot you in the head. No, no, he wasn't. But he was one of the motherfuckers in that bitch, dog. I'm gonna tell you his name right now, dog, because I'm I'm looking through my uh my roller decks of niggas who's on the show and shit, dog. But that was my first time seeing seeing you on that bitch and the nigga. Monty, Monty, yeah. okay. Monty and shit. He was on that bit. He was in that scene too. He was just holding the gun, tough as hell and shit, dog. <laughs> so how was that experience for you, dog? Because a lot of niggas like, you know, it was a short role, but it was a role that got you out here, and it was yeah. a, it was a major show. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, you don't give a fuck how short or long a nigga role is. It's the impact he made doing that shit. And that's exactly what I say, man. Yeah. Uh, to me, like. With, it, with that particular role and shit like that, you know, it wasn't a lot, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it was so high. I delivered that shit, like, everybody remember that shit, you feel for me? Sure, hell yeah. Especially when they see me and shit, so, like, most definitely. It don't matter, like, to me, for any actor that's coming up and shit like that, man, don't matter how small or big your role is, Fast. man, just play that motherfucker to the T, man. Just deliver it the best you can, bro, because mm -hmm. that'll leave an imprint on motherfuckers, man, you feel me? That'll no, make sure. motherfuckers fuck with you, you feel no, me? No, for sure, hell yeah. Hell yeah, because if you gonna have a couple... Couple of lines, nigga, sell that shit. Yeah, facts. Hell yeah, cause I've been trying to tell niggas for the longest. I need to be in one of the Detroit movies. And the only <laughs> thing I want to say is, I want to have a gun. Like, nigga, put that shit down, nigga. That's the only thing I want to do, nigga. Okay. I want to be put that shit down, man. <laughs> that shit, dog. And you can pop me out. <laughs> hey, nigga, put that shit down, cuz. Like, yeah, that's swear. all I want to say, dog. But no, that was a uh, that was a dope ass. I, I know it was a dope ass experience, and Appreciate and built a buzz for you. Yeah. Was that the first thing that you act on? First thing I ate though. Was that the first I, thing you was on? I believe, I believe so, y'all. That was the first thing I did. Like, now, how did that come out? Like I said, you you tied to music. That's your first love. That's what you want right. to go ahead and do for real. Right. How did the movie shit come? Did somebody tell you like, hey, nigga, you, this movie shit might break out your music shit? Like, how was it? You, you know, I was thinking like that when I first wanted to get into it. Like, maybe it help my music and shit like that. But um, honestly, I was when I was in school and shit. I was in drama club and shit like that. So I was doing yeah. plays in school and shit. So that's yeah. where it really first came from and shit. But um. Okay. With the McGraw ass shit, I was just on Instagram one day and um, you know, Moolah had posted like, you know what I'm saying, they doing auditions yeah. or whatever for it and shit. And I'm like, shit, I should try that shit. So I got in yeah. touch with them and shit. I got my shit together, went out there, did the audition, man, and sure. I got the part. Hell yeah, that's what's up, man. Hell, so yeah, season two, I see that's coming out. I see Thomas Harris post yeah. that shit. Come out in the fall and shit, dog. I see you ain't bring your boy ass motherfucker third number two and shit, dog. It's okay. <laughs> I come in on season three and shit, dog. <laughs> 
But no, that shit, that, that's dope, though. Like I said, I don't give a fuck. I hate niggas who, like, try to shoot a nigga down for how big or small his role was. Yeah, man, that and shit. You did, you did your thing. Like I said, as long as you conquered that role, yeah. made an impact, niggas, shit, I found you from that shit. Nah, that's all that matters. Shit. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? So, now you got a new movie out where you a lead role. You ain't, you know, yeah. you ain't getting shot no bad tubs and nah, shit, Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I got, get, I got, I, I got, definitely got to check it out. Yeah, man. Street definitely. Code Broken, Street though. Street Code Broken, man. Uh, man, fact, shit, I'm, I wound up, through you posting that shit, I found the director is, uh, damn, what's her name? Uh, Janaya. Uh, I believe, yeah. Janaya Black and Rocky Black, yeah. Yeah, so I wanted to fire on them and shit, yeah. dog. But uh, talk about this this movie and um t- talk about your role as a leading character, dog. Uh, well, movie Street Code Broken about these two friends, um, Deontay and Larry, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? They grew up on the streets, they hustling and shit like that or whatever. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They get money and shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, Deontay end up, you know what I'm saying, meeting this girl, you know what I'm saying, girl named, um, Tiffany. You Deontay, right? Yeah, That's I'm Deontay. You cry yeah. about shit. Deontay yeah. crying yeah. at this. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this girl named Tiffany or whatever. You know, she a church girl, you know what I'm saying? For she sure. ain't really with all that other shit, and she really kind of getting this nigga away from this shit, you know what I'm saying? Because Larry's starting to do a little extra wild shit that he ain't feeling either, so sure. he kind of breaking away from that shit, and that caused them to have a conflict, and they get into it and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, and, and, and that... That's real life shit Yeah that is When you get with a chicken She kind of open your eyes Like dog What the fuck You doing that for Yeah You know what I'm saying There's always a Deontay nigga too Who be like Let <laughs> me change my life Like dog You can't, can't. But a chicken really be like a, a, a major part in your life As far yeah, as like facts. changing you and shit And opening your eyes Up to the bullshit you see But then You got that battle Between Do I be Nigga I can't Switch on my mans Yeah that's true too and Then I got my This chick who care about me Who wanna see me do better so like you fighting yourself like who should you be loyal to and shit like that. Yeah, that's true too. No. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So you feel like with this shit, this this shit gonna really like bring out the best of you or like really show niggas that you you know what I'm saying you can hold it down as a lead as yeah, a lead yeah, actor. Yeah, this is definitely gonna show people that I can do like hold a whole movie and shit like that. Uh, I I want to show people that I got way better since McGraw F. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is definitely gonna probably be one of the ones for me and shit like that because everybody's been fucking with it and shit, man. Now that you trying to like. Like I said, we we already know you love music, but right. after this shit, is you trying to dive into that shit a little bit more, like with this acting shit, dog? Uh, yeah, you know, if the opportunity presents itself and stuff like that, I've been doing a lot of uh movies as of lately. Shit, I got another a movie coming out in October where I'm a lead role and shit. But between that, I done shot like four, five, six movies and shit where I'm just doing like other yeah. parts and shit. So yeah, you ever I thought know. about uh shit writing your own shit? Write my own shit? I haven't, but I, I definitely would. That would hey, definitely man, interest me. You do. Bring your man's in, dog. You. Third of two, dog. <laughs> I'm tired of telling niggas this shit, dog. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna film my own shit with the iPhone in a minute, dog. Tell now, me, man. now, when can the street code be broken, bro? When can the street code be broken? See, that's a good question. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> cause niggas like always talk about the code. Follow the code. Follow the code. Nigga, you get jammed up and snitch on your man. Yeah, that street can't code be broken. broken. Yeah. Uh. Hit your man's fucking baby mama or wife. That's that's street <laughs> yeah. code, bro. You can't no, you ain't supposed sure. to do no shit like hell that. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, man, shit, a lot of motherfucking times, man. Now with that, your man's period. Can you, if your man's like, you, of course, your man's girl's off limit. Right, of course. What if it's a bitch you just popped off on? Can you can you smash her too? Like, like. Uh, is that off limits? Is that off, you know what? It depends on how you feel about it to me. Because some <laughs> niggas like they pop offs like that. You feel me? <laughs> I feel like this. If you want it, if you if you comfortable with sharing her, then shit, knock her down and shit like that. I just feel like niggas, baby mamas and all that, or XYs, that shit off limits. Sure, I wouldn't even sure. look that type of yeah, way and shit sure. like you that. Never, but, yeah. yeah, but uh, throw away and shit like that. Hey, yeah, 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 knock that down and shit. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Have you ever had somebody try to nigga approach one of your ex, ex in here, oh, check the nigga about it? Approach my ex. Um. Uh, yeah, nah. see, that's how you know who your real niggas is, dog. You got the baddest chick in the world, but I'm always, even when y'all break up, I'm always looking at that. Hey, that's my man's chick. Even when y'all nigga broke up, that's still my man's chick, dog. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you got a motherfucking knee alone with this bitch. Like, yo, that bitch bad. But that was your, that was your chick, nigga. I ain't gonna even fucking try to go ahead and step on your shoes afterwards and get a bone. But you got a lot of niggas who be nigga back doing, looking at niggas' chicks and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, no, dog. most definitely, most definitely. Man. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah, me and me personally, bro. Like, after you, if you done fuck my man's and shit, my times out of ten, I ain't really gonna step to you and shit like that. Anyways, I don't really like going behind niggas and shit no, like for that. Sure. Like, Fast. yeah, that shit. Yeah, go Hell ahead. Yeah, yeah. Now, dog, with the, with the acting shit, yeah. what's a movie that you, a classic movie that you love that you wish you could sub in for one of the characters, dog? Classic movie that I love. Shit. That you a sub in, like, nigga, I, I, I want to sub in, be that nigga, dog, do that shit, that role. Ah. Uh, Damn man, you got it. damn. Hold on, you got me on the spot. I gotta think of that. Shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, nigga. Shit, you got a lot of classic movies yeah, out here. I dog. swear to God, man, you got a lot of classic. Fridays, movies. Boys of the Hood, Menace, 
Shit, it could be a TV show or a movie, dog. I don't give a fuck. It could be motherfucking Martin and bitch, nigga. <laughs> damn. Uh, damn. That's a good question. I got to think of that shit for a minute. Hold on. Um, classic movie. Classic movie. Classic movie. Nigga, I, I fucking um, and it's crazy because it's like I I watch a lot of classic hood movies, so it will probably be another classic hood movie. Like like y'all remember Baller Block and the Hot the Hot Boys movie? Yeah, 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 yeah those yeah. those I, I do those. Uh, um, Black and Blue. Yeah, I yeah. I be in that. Uh, Who spot you take it though? I'll probably take Peace Spot in Black and Blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Cool. No, that's that shit. Funny now, who spot you taking? Could you do music yeah. in the rap group? Oh, you're talking about Yeah, I got a hookup. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. my bad. Yeah, I got the hookup. Yeah, yeah, my bad. Yeah. Now, who spot you taking from a, a from a from a rap crew? A rap group. Oh, uh, shit, a rap group? Yeah, like Hot Boys, No Limit, uh, uh Mob D, UGK, Outkast. A lot of motherfuckers in this bitch, dog. That you could NWA, nigga, like <laughs> Dope Boys did <laughs> shit. Who spot you taking, dog? Alright, I'm gonna do some yeah, I'm gonna do some local shit. Alright, man, like, who? Yeah, probably if I if I could take somebody's spot in uh Doughboys, uh yeah, probably be Dre's. Yeah. Yeah, I think I could switch out for Dre. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you yeah. Do, you, I'll do that nigga a little bit. Say <laughs> 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 now nah, dog, you on your lean road shit now, dog. Right, yeah. You lean this shit, you mm-hmm. lean man, you motherfucker Deontay in this bitch. Yeah. But you have a lean a leading Hollywood film role. Mm-hmm. You playing your lead lady, dog. I can have anybody. Yeah, any any Ooh. any lady, any lady, dog. Damn. <laughs> and some <means> fire chicks, <laughs> though. And she got to be actress too, or just whatever. Shit, whatever. Singer, actor, whoever. Man, dog. damn, that's that's a lot of options. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who that one you want, nigga? Like, damn, this is my wife right here. Man, I oh, that's a lot of fire people, man. I like, I like Scissor. I like uh. Yeah. All right, we gonna keep it on. The, we gonna keep it on strictly a- uh, actress, though. Actress, okay. Uh, strictly in the ast- in the acting game. Fire. Uh, <laughs> I like, I like, I like, um, y'all know the Chloe, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I like yeah. Chloe. I like, dog, I like hey. that, dog. I saw some IG pictures that, like, God damn. Yeah, oh, yeah, she fire as hell. <laughs> yeah, she connect. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, she fire, bro. And she had that motherfucker stress marks, nigga. Oh, nigga, there's something about those stress marks, dog. I'm telling you, man. My wife ain't watching this shit, but them, <laughs> bitch, them chicks with stress marks on their ass, like, God damn. You want to scratch them bitches some more. Yeah, but dog, that's for sure, dog, for sure. Oh, yeah. You, got, you, oh, you talking about somebody else? Oh, yeah. That, uh, that one chick that played in uh, My Wife and Kids. Y'all saw her? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, which one? Cause Parker, 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 Parker. Yeah, she yeah. got older and yeah, got bad. Yeah, yeah, she fine as hell. She ain't gonna lie. She cold. <laughs> yeah. Her and uh, old girl used to be on uh, Everybody Hates Chris. Oh, uh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, she, but, yeah, she fired too. I was just going to her too. She fired. That's crazy when you get older. Damn, that bitch, damn, she grown. Yeah, she grown, grown. Old girl from My Wife and Kids grown, nigga, like. Damn, yeah, I definitely, uh, yeah, yeah. Hell the little yeah. girl from, um, what's, what's, what she was in? Y'all remember that rock movie? We had the daughter and she was a football player. Damn, um, he was a, he was a football player. I, I remember rock. that shit, but I, I do remember that shit. Wasn't that the, the Tooth Fairy? I don't think oh, it was. Damn, what, yeah, he was, I think he was dressed up some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, it was. The little light-skinned girl. <laughs> yeah, she grown as hell now, so I'm like, duh, uh. Duh. What the I, fuck? After watching, wasn't it, though, nigga, uh, BMF, I definitely, like, nigga, I like to have cash down with Lee Rowe. <laughs> she, pretty, she pretty nice as shit, dog. Oh, yeah, no. Cash be doing her thing, man. Yeah, she, she pretty dope as shit, dog. She dope as hell, too. For yeah, real. I always say, even though Miss shit, Megan Good, I always say Megan Good, dog. Oh, yeah, Megan Good. She can, be, she can be Mr. Uh, put I that shit down. I Miss put that shit down. Oh, yeah, Megan Good was bad. I just like that she smoked cigarettes and shit, but. Oh, yeah, nah. That shit trash. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> hell that, yeah, man. dog. Hell yeah. Now, is there anything, nigga, outside of, outside of the whole music and, 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 um, and acting shit that you want to tap into, or just like, you just like focus on those two things right now and. Trying to make yourself better as as a rapper or actor. Yeah, mostly just focus on these two passions right now, man. Just okay. um, you know what I'm saying. Trying yeah. to get this shit established and going so I can turn this shit to a career. For sure, for sure. Now, nah, dog, I know shit. You know, making the band. You ever watched that shit growing up? Yeah, I watched Did it. Yeah. All right, dog. I want you making the band. Mm-hmm. You and four other people with music. Anybody? Y- y'all, yeah. Any it could be producer, singer, rapper, local industry, major, whatever. You and four other people for your making the band album, dog. Damn. Uh, me, uh, four other people. Uh, I definitely, um, damn, I try to grab it. As far as a producer. 
Yeah, it could be that producer, singer, rapper. They ain't got to be all. They ain't, they ain't all got to be rappers, dog. They ain't all got to be rappers. Uh, this one grab Drake. Fuck that. All right, all right so you, gonna... you Drake, so that nigga take care of singing, hooking, yeah, yeah, yeah. everything. <laughs> 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 no, Rapping, yeah. they can do all that shit. Yeah, so you Drake, you got three more, dog. Drake, uh, Future. All right, bet hell yeah. I I fuck with Future over time. That shit. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Future, future that nigga shit. Uh, as a producer I definitely about to be going on some of y'all exes on that bitch like <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get a female uh, female there's a bunch of cold ass females out here that's, that's dope with R&B sure. and shit man. hell yeah hell yeah you name one of them shit Scissor, Her yes yeah, a lot of them I even like Kehlani um, oh yeah Sabrina Claudia that's somebody that's they sucked on you know what I'm gonna I'm grab Scissor I, yeah, I like Scissor I'm gonna grab right. Scissor yeah, you like Scissor part. Future Drake, you got one more motherfucker to finish this motherfucker. Meech Ice Will Band, dog. And I'm going to uh, grab. I'm going to grab a producer for this one. I'm going to grab. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You go ahead and be on the beats and shit. Yeah. I need. Uh, I want to say. Uh, so you got a lot of them motherfuckers, too. I know. You got shit locally. You got Major. You got Hellaville on that bitch. You got Manny Fresh. For real. Timberland motherfucker Dr. Dre in this bitch Kanye no, West Yeah I'm about to say Yeah you know I want to work with On yeah. far as beats and shit Like Kanye yeah. West Yeah hell yeah Cause you gonna remix your shit Everything Yeah yeah that's why That's why I grab some beats from yeah. shit Now do you got make a band For your acting You and four other actors Nigga to do a movie Actors yeah. or actresses Yeah Uh Where's me well, I already did something with Denzel, but shit, my nigga Denzel still straight. Uh, nigga play Larry in the movie. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shout him out. Y'all know, um, damn, I don't got to pronounce Dominic's name, last name. Light skinned dude named Dominic. Okay. Uh, he be in the Detroit, Detroit movies. Yeah. I think I know who he is. Yeah, yeah I think I was, yeah, I, I ran. Puerto I, Rican looking kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dom. Right. Uh, two motherfuckers. Two more motherfuckers. Uh, it's, um, another nigga named, uh, like uh, I think his name James. He called himself King James, something like that on Instagram. Okay, then he made some Detroit movies. And yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Okay, Dreads, his, and then the other nigga is named Chris, tall, dark skinned nigga and shit. Like he been in a lot of Detroit movies. I think he about to be in this new Cheddar Boy movie. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, I, I, I think five yeah. of us make a dope ass shit. Hell yeah, that's dope. Hell yeah, but yeah, that scissor, that scissor, nice little motherfucker. Pick. Man, yeah, she fine, the motherfucker, <laughs> man. <laughs> she can lie. sing. Hell yeah, I ain't gonna motherfucking lie to you, boy. Now we always get to, when we get to end we do a versus dog. Okay. I give you two scenarios. You tell me which one win. It could be food, people, whatever. Bet it up. All right. Nightlife versus daylife. Nightlife. All right. Uh, shit. Summertime gear or fall gear. Fall. Hell yeah, you get to wear them good sweaters. Hell yeah, yeah, fall. <laughs> I love the fall. <laughs> uh, shit. I don't know. Shit. Uh, you say you stay with your auntie, right? Yes, the auntie. Your auntie cooking or your mama cooking? Ah, <laughs> I'm gonna go with my aunt. I, am, I ain't gonna lie to you. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's, her, what's, what, what's some shit she made that you like, nigga? Got hair, nigga. My aunt, shit, uh, baked macaroni. Hell yeah. Gotta have that shit. Spaghetti. For sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell shit yeah. like that. Now, hold on. All right, versus macaroni. Creamy back macaroni, that motherfucking shit you gotta carve. Cause you know that macaroni, when you motherfucking just, that bitch fall like soup. Or that motherfucking shit you gotta just like that cheese that got that bitch thick as hell, like a motherfucking thick ass chicken. In it. They, is they both baked Or are you talking about Like creamy as in Like it's in a pot And shit like that Oh shit yeah cause that's, Yeah cause some niggas Like creamy in a pot Some like the baked shit That's like I, I like my thick. macaroni baked And it was like thick And so you got Yeah you got yeah, 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 yeah I like yeah, yeah So yeah, that yeah, baked yeah. one yeah You need that motherfucker Miss Parker motherfucker back. That's what I got <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Alright Vezo versus Payroll Ooh Payroll Alright Chilling with your niggas Or chilling with your family Probably the fam all right, all right, all right. Tall chicks versus short chicks. Short chicks. Hell yeah, you need that short little motherfucker. Hey, Dark skin chick or light skin chick. Oh, see, <laughs> I don't discriminate, but I I, I like me some dark. Yeah, I like yeah. me some dark. Like, dark skin yeah. chicks they made a comeback though, cause niggas only uh, I be liking them dark skin chicks though. Facts. Light, light skin chicks like they it's some bad ones, but they be thinking they bad just cause they light skin. Be yeah, bold. that's fact. Right. No, no. Nah. Like, just cause you light skin don't mean you bad. I swear to God. <laughs> Liquor versus weed. Liquor. Movie versus acting. Movie versus what? Versus acting. I mean, damn, I, oh. I'm tripping. My bad, dog. <laughs> Music versus acting. Rapper versus actor. Music. Okay, okay. East side chick versus west side chick. Ah. <laughs> See, 
See, that's the thing, because the East Side chick probably going to be ghetto, and then the West Side chick probably going to be bougie. And ghetto, but she high yeah. to ghetto this and shit. All you right, know, who, who you fuck with more? Who, who you, in your life, you been fucking more East Side chicks or West Side chicks? East Side, probably uh, East Side chicks. Okay, okay, okay. Going to the club versus going to the bar? Man, going to the bar, because I don't really like the club scene fuck like it. that. Hell yeah. White liquor versus dark liquor? Dark. Hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. That shit, that's it. But we we drink we on that bourbon whiskey shit now. Nah, shit. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Podcast versus radio. A oh, podcast cause that show me more love anyways. Hell yeah, that shit. You watch podcasts like like yeah, so I watch a lot of podcasts. Joe Budden ver- podcast versus Gillian Wallow podcast. Gillian Wallow. Yeah, them niggas be fooling dog. Yeah, I swear, yeah, I fuck with them. I ain't gonna lie, niggas be fooling dog. All right, dog. Top three. Give me your top three childhood celebrity crushes. I'm gonna trip y'all out, but it's real <laughs> shit. <laughs> I, I don't trip y'all out But it's real shit though Nigga Topanga From oh, Boy Meets World You ain't trip me out That's my motherfucker Kimberly the pink uh, Power Ranger <laughs> And <laughs> And She was bad though <laughs> I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Aaliyah <laughs> Hey, dog. Keep that shit that way straight. What a motherfucker died. I think it was her in real life. Uh, uh no, it was the uh, yellow was the Asian yeah. one. I okay, 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 okay. I know one of them died. Nigga. Yeah. Hell yeah, nigga. Shout out to Power Ranger lovers and shit, dog. Give me your uh your top three uh hood movies. Top three hood movies. Thank you. Uh, global or local? Uh, shit, any. It don't matter. Top three hood movies. Uh, yeah, like I said, I can't. I, I love uh the Hot Boys. All right. That was my shit growing up. Hell yeah, yeah. Shit's talking that bitch. Hell yeah. Um. Uh, Hood movies, nigga. Um, buffed up. Yeah, 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 yeah and buffed up. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. That's the funniest shit yeah. that ever came out of the yeah. city, bro. <laughs> Ain't nothing been funnier since then. Uh, that's a classic, dog. One more. Let me get y'all one more. He uh, said what? Oh, the Columbus bitch. <laughs> oh, Ohio got, bitch. Yeah. And we gonna go with uh. They're my cousins. I wanna get y'all one good more good one. Uh. Really do uh, uh, shit. Uh, fucking bottle blocking. I watch yeah, that I shit. Yeah, I watch that shit, dog. Yeah, they had good dope ass uh, uh, album too. Yeah. Give me your uh, top three TV shows. Right now. Uh, all time. All time. Damn, that's damn. all time. Yeah. Martin. Uh. Damn. Martin classic. Dude. Yeah, Martin classic. Uh, I cried last episode. <laughs> Nigga sign his name is Martin. Uh, I'm trying to think of one more. I want to put the Jamie Foxx show right there, but I don't know. Nigga sleep with Jamie Foxx show. Yeah, the Jamie Foxx show was funny as hell. Let's get one when they was at the DMV though, when the nigga uh, Mark Cooper had that nigga do a push up. I swear to God, <laughs> damn. But if I put that one, then I can't put. Uh... Damn. I want to put Fresh Prince too, but like shit. Yeah, that's a class. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's you a class. Yeah, yeah, I know. You can't go wrong with Martin, Fresh Prince, none of that shit. Yeah, Martin, Fresh Prince. It, 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 I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go with the Jamie Foxx show. Let me ask you this, dog, because this nigga oh, hated it. I got, I got to ask everybody this bitch. What? You fuck with Wayne Brothers? Oh shit, that's what I forgot. Wayne's brothers too. Oh shit. Oh man, you know Wayne. I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, I should put that on my list. I'm not proving to this nigga that Wayne Brothers was a good show. Wayne Brothers was funny as hell. <laughs> you crazy as hell. I forgot about that shit. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. That was my shit, dog. That was my shit. I think dog. I like that more than the fucking Jimmy Fox show. <laughs> that was the shit, dog. Give me your top your top three fools. Top three fools, uh, as a whole or just individually? Because I was about to say soul food. Oh, no, uh, individual. Individual. Top three. Love chicken. Hell yeah. Um, Can't go wrong with motherfucker. Chick wings, chicken breasts. Yeah, so facts. You make them bitch right, nigga, chicken legs. Nigga, shit. My wife's mom be making fuckers with chicken legs. <laughs> Spaghetti. <laughs> For sure. Motherfucking. Um, Hell yeah, shit. Have made some that shit today. <laughs> Spaghetti, chicken, spaghetti, and motherfucking. I'll go with uh Damn. I don't know. I'll just throw it off a piece of fucking Yeah, yeah. Just take it long. <laughs> Give me all right, last one, yo. Top three underrated rappers. Niggas of course when you say nigga, your top three rappers, niggas say Wayne, Pop, Big, Nas, mm-hmm. Jay. Give me your top three rappers that niggas don't talk about that much. That's underrated? Yeah, or like just the just like not, not your typical top three. 
Top three. That's yep, not your typical top three rappers, dog. So minus motherfuckers, them, them Nas, them Bigs, them Hoes, them Eminems. Mm. Minus them niggas who your top three. Cause my shit, fuck niggas. My shit, the game. The game, Jeezy, probably motherfucking T.I., nigga. They underrated? Like, just like, just like the niggas you want. Because if you say top three rappers, niggas ain't going to mention them. Okay. So just niggas that, Nick, top three that niggas won't mention. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah. Gotti. Okay. Here's Gucci. Me. Yeah. Guy last album was hard as hell. And Jeezy. And Jeezy. Jeezy, yeah, yeah. yeah. Guy last album was hard. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, no, yeah, got it. Yeah. hard, dog. Now, we always end everything, dog, with a drunk moment or a hot moment, dog. Funny right. story when you were drunk, high, or both. Give it to me, dog. Tell me a little bit more. Oh, uh, shit. This is this last couple weeks, for real, oh, for shit, real. nigga recently drunk. Hell yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I was drunk like a motherfucker, too. I had like five cups. I was straight Hennessy. Hennessy. Hell yeah. What was, you, what, what was going on, dog? Paint a picture for me, dog. Uh, I was at this rap party for this movie I just did called PDA. It's coming out in October and shit. Yeah. You know, was, you know the cast was in there, a bunch of hoes in that bitch, and I got drunk and was talking shit to everybody. Yeah. Yeah, loud as hell, too. Man. I was, I was feeling myself, though, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like you said that. some shit that nigga kind of like, nigga came back like, bitch, like, damn, you said this to me. I was more so, yeah, I was more so like, because I got the videos, too. I was more so like, <laughs> Like yeah, we like you know what I'm saying, bitch. I'm that nigga, bitch. I just did two, <laughs> bitch. I just did two lean rolls, movies back to back. Like I ain't never took nobody acting class. You bitch ass niggas got to pay to get better. You feel me? Like, I was talking shit like that. All the hoes look like who the fuck is this nigga? They like they, they like oh he gotta be somebody talking like that. Like I was in that bitch talking my shit. Duh, cause I don't know. I was looking on your story. Was yeah. like the day you was like it was a whole bunch of motherfuckers in the crib or some shit. Like I believe so. Yeah, yeah. nah, yeah. Duh, nigga said he like nigga. I believe, bitch. I'm Deontay, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Hell yeah, no. Sometimes you got. That's a, that's what I want to ask you, nigga. Sometimes, nigga, you gotta tuck your shit, dog. Yeah, you got to, man. Drunk or a nigga just not drunk, nigga. Sometimes you gotta be on your own shit, dog. Cause some nigga, sometimes niggas don't know, nigga. The work you put in, sometimes you gotta just talk shit, dog. You got to, man. You gotta, you gotta, you know, saying, congratulate yourself, man. Be proud of yourself, man. I'm gonna always be proud of me. You Hell feel yeah. me? So like, Hell yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm talking my talk shit. shit, nigga. I'm on episode 122, and that's the best podcast in fucking Detroit. Fuck y'all. You hear podcast, me? Nigga. Hey, and nigga, who else gonna come in this bitch and we talk about motherfucker? Uh, bitches you and fuck nigga and <laughs> bitches you dirty did you cry bitch <laughs> you cry bad bitch and shit dog nah. nigga cause the thing I hate about podcasts when niggas just so uh when did you start doing rap me chice what <laughs> like you know what I'm saying it's like everything be like scripted and shit yeah bro. true I like for a nigga being self talk shit you know what I'm saying whatever whatever get some funny stories get a couple laughs and shit and move on about your day when that shit become too serious like you know what I'm saying so we have my rap about acting um, when did you get the chops like you know what I'm saying all that bullshit so yeah, shout out to me, man. Shout out to you too, and shit, yeah, man. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's major though. Two lean rolls. Yeah. Like I said, you say you never been, you never been one of them niggas to pay for a motherfucking lessons and, and yeah. acting class. Yeah, and, and I and I ain't mean it like you because you, you should pay to get better and shit like that and focus on your craft and shit like that. I was just talking to my shit because I didn't have to do yeah, that. But I'm, sure. I'm not saying I'm not going to do it. Of course, I just didn't have the time to get nobody class or nothing like that. But, no, sure. yeah, okay, but I definitely was talking my shit, hey, though. Yeah, like, nigga, nigga yeah, I'm doing shit. my shit, nigga. I applaud like, you for talking your shit, nigga. Sometimes we need to talk shit out here, Yeah, though. facts, man. Hell shit. yeah, because shit, who else gonna do it, nigga? But, facts, man. You gotta be proud of yourself, man. You for know sure. what I'm saying? Every yeah. little accomplishment, every accomplishment, you gotta be proud of yourself, man. For sure, man. Telling people where they can follow you on socials and where they can see movies, the music, all that good shit, dog. All right, man. You can follow me on all socials at Meech Icewood M-E-E-C-H-I-C-E-W-O-O-D that's Facebook Instagram Twitter uh, Snapchat whatever you feel me uh, you can catch my music everywhere Apple Music YouTube Spotify just type in Meech Icewood all my shit should pop up and sure. you can watch my new movie Street Called Broken only on Amazon Prime right now for sure for sure hell yeah now, um, shit you wanna leave people with some motherfucking words some motivation dog besides nigga shit being in your own shit like like you wanna give people some motivation like you know what I'm saying some don't drink and drive you know what I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> uh Shit, man, just don't give up, man. Like, you know, you're going to get discouraged a lot doing this shit, man. You feel me? You don't want to give up a bunch of times, man. Just, you know what I'm saying, push through it, man. Just know that, you know what I'm saying, hard work pays off, man. Okay. I didn't get paid from acting until last year. Yeah. So, like, nigga, so, you know, you got to keep grinding with this shit, man, sure. and just keep going, you feel me? Hell yeah. No, no that's a fact. Hell yeah. yeah that shit. I'm going to piggyback what that nigga said. Like, yeah, it's, shit, keep going. Don't be quitting and shit, dog. Just because your shit ain't. Ain't blowing up like the next man. I mean, that your shit ain't gonna get there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit. And salute your goddamn self, nigga. Shit. Nigga, all the time. But shit, man. I appreciate you coming in. Man, I appreciate y'all for having me, man. Came on time. Nigga, rapped a good motherfucking rap and shit, hey, man, dog. I appreciate y'all, man. All that shit, man. <laughs> and um, yeah, man. It's your boy, Shy vs. Everybody Podcast, man. Voice of the City.
podcast MVP, man. Meach Icewood. Motherfucker episode 122, man. I'll let y'all niggas up.